Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Halloween one-shot. Let me turn down the spooky music. Turn down the spooky music, because it's pretty spooky. And we'll see if the players are ready for us. I have control of the Dungeon Select channel today, and it's crazy. Hello, hello. We ready, I'm talk about fam? penises while we're- Oh, <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Wow. The classic. Hey. All right. Hi. Hello. I have control of the Dungeon Select channel, kind of, and it feels strange. <laughs> Like it. Hello! Yeah, Dutch is like, this is weird. It is weird. Normally on this channel, Dutch would be in the I'm DM chair, freak. and I'm in the player chair, but we've swapped for this very special Halloween one-shot. Do We usually do something Halloween-y of some kind for Dungeon she Select the past weenie. few years. I did. Call me a weenie, it's so rude. <laughs> yeah, um, that's probably a good thing, to be fair, because like the feeling the way I feel right now, after having just been busy moving shit to our new house all day, I would not have been able to run a fucking... DM yeah, session, you are not in so. the sp the energy mode to DM, um, but I am here to save the day. Um, so today we're going to be doing a one shot called The Gatekeeper, uh, written by people over at the charity Safe in Our World, who we are also raising money for. I thought it was so cool. They said, hey, anyone who wants to raise money for us, we're literally going to give you a free D&D &D adventure if you want to raise money for our campaign. And I'm like, absolutely. Give me more D&D &D adventures all the time. And it gave us a chance to... <gasps> donations! I'll thank... I'll get to these donations in a second. But that's so exciting. Donations. Thank you. Yeah, we got another one. That's two. Plural. Let's go. Um... But it also gives us a chance to have some guests on the channel, because for those who are regulars of Dungeon Select, myself, Dutch, and Koiba, you see us here every Sunday that we play, but we have two new faces joining us today. So I'll give both of them a chance to introduce themselves as players first. Um, one of them you might be familiar with, because he has been a guest on this channel before, and is back for a very Yons thematically ago. fitting one-shot. Uh, Ecto, if you want to reintroduce yourself to the chat. Actually, I think... This is technically Ecto's first time on the DS channel. Cause I think oh, because was it on when, my channel way back when, when we did that? Or like when we when we swapped to mine? Oh, like, yeah. Because campaign one, oh. we didn't start this channel until campaign two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. So, dang, dang, yeah. dang. I don't know. Been I part of a one shot here before, but... So, so my, one of my mods pointed out that I am in the uh, channel intro thing. Yeah. And yeah, oh. artwork. Artwork is of Gwen. Yeah, no, yeah. we have a little, that, that little like, channel trailer, the little highlight reel. Yeah, the channel trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. But, hi, hey. I'm Ecto. <laughs> I, I do games and ghosts. <laughs> games and ghosts. The double G's. Uh, Love the it. The double G's. You can find uh, Ecto over at twitch.tv slash ectomaster. Uh, and then a new face who uh, we are both in the Ooh. Pantsless Tables Discord server, which is how we cross paths. Would you like to introduce yourself to the Dungeon Select crew? Please do. All right. Yes, my name is Amanda. Um, I go by Amanda Panda Sensei here on Twitch, Nanab Galtiel on Twitter, and I've been featured on the uh pantsless tables uh and girls run these worlds uh and a, a one shot on girls run these worlds uh it's really nice to be here um i'm streaming to you from yokohama japan where it's a little late it is uh, four That's in sick. the morning for me right now <laughs> so fuck. um uh so i apologize in advance if i seem a little out of it so that is dedication. We love to see it. What Thank you so much for disrupting your sleep cycle <laughs> to join us. We were going to have another familiar face joining, but then Amanda come in and save in the day last minute. But it's great because we get to game with someone new, which is super exciting. Uh, now, we are already at 50 pounds uh, raised oh, of the 250 goal. I was going to explain what the donations do. Oh, make, make, did it, it happened again? It happened again? Hold on, I have so many tabs, I gotta switch. Make that 70 pounds. Uh, you guys are incredible. Uh, there's a few special things going on with the donations today, so I'm gonna let you know what those are, and then we'll jump into our one shot here. We are aiming to finish by 7 p.m. Eastern time, so just under four, four hours from now. If it ends early, then we'll see, but one shots almost never do. So we'll, we're gonna. Always oh, everyone. But uh, we'll do our best to respect your time and end, or you end at seven. Super late. 
Yep, so we have some donation incentives going on. For every donation of two pounds or more, you can give any player at the table or the DM advantage or disadvantage on either their next roll or a roll of your choice. Uh, you can specify with your donation message. You can be like their next charisma check, their next attack roll, or just their next roll. Um, for 10 pounds or more, which these have already happened, so I'm gonna either have to DM discretion the timing of this, or if you're in the chat and would like to answer and give some input, you can. For every donation of 10 pounds or more, it's going to trigger instantaneously, once we get going, a wild magic surge, and I'm using a homebrew <laughs> wild magic table. Now, we've had one person redeemed that with their donation, but obviously we aren't in the gameplay yet, so... Uh, the person who redeemed that, uh, Emberly. I owe you. Oh, yeah. That would be me. Hey. Oh, yeah, because Ember. <laughs> hey. So, Ecto, I'm going to say you can choose um, any moment. Just say, while we're playing, just say Wild Magic, please. And that'll be your chosen timing. So, you can maybe try and time it to see if it benefits yourself. You can time it to mess with your fellow players. <laughs> who knows? We're just about to wrap up the stream. Nothing's happening. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Wild Magic. Bam. Wild Magic. <laughs> Oh, and Dutch and Koiba, tired. same goes to you. You donated enough, so if you would like to, at any point, you yeah. can just say wild no. magic and trigger a wild magic surge. You can choose not to, but you can if you'd like to. And same for Erodi. Erodi. Uh You in the Twitch chat can put whenever you would like one wild magic surge to happen. Thanks for your donation. And then we'll make that happen. Last but not least, and we're already so close because you guys are lovely, if we hit a hundred pounds raised, which is not our full goal, but it's a very good amount, the charity themselves are going to send us, they've made these custom potion bottle dice shakers that look really cool, and they're going to send me one. So we will, if we hit a hundred pounds, we will pause the gameplay, all of us will roll a d20, whoever gets the highest roll. I will mail them, because it's being mailed to my house if we get it. And if anyone other than me, if you, if any of you beat me in rolling a d20, I will mail you your custom dice shaker that you will win from Safe in Our World. If you want to know more about the charity, check out the Tiltify campaign. They have, there's info on what they do there. They are a mental health focused charity uh, based in the UK. All about making sure people have access to resources for combating negative mental health, treating various mental health disorders, knowing where to go for help, making sure it's accessible, affordable, all that jazz. And there are some themes maybe throughout our one shot also of mental health in general. And when, once we get started officially, uh, chat interactivity on my part will be very low. I have less monitors than I really need for D&D &D live streaming. Three to four would be ideal. So I will probably have the chat not very visible quite a lot of time. And I got to focus on doing DM tings. So without further ado, hi, Crispy Spidey in the chat. Hello, welcome. Thanks for being here. We're going to go ahead and get started with our one shot. Also, chat, before we start, let me know if the music is a little too loud. If you need, it needs to be lower for background vibes. If it's competing with any of our performers, let me know and I can adjust that for you. All right. I realize I'll be rolling digitally because all my dice are in the new house. I'm going to well, roll with advantage that. every time. You have to have advantage. <laughs> I'm going to do one digital, one, uh, one real. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, before we start, does any, did any of you come up with, I forgot to come up with a name before and I'm terrible with names anyway. If anyone has an idea of what your paranormal investigator slash exterminator organization would like to be called, uh, feel free to share it Paranormal investigator, uh, Whatever the fuck other words you said. Ghost uh, Smash. The Pies. P-I-E. Paranormal yeah. Investigators and Exterminators. Pie for short. Yeah, pies. <laughs> and then they say, here come pies. Here come the pies. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we oh have five, five employees of uh, the Paranormal Investigators and Exterminators. They are arriving today at the Press Pause Arcade, ready to conduct a routine inspection as you do with all hauntings. The arcade manager has explained to you that the ghostly activity had driven away all his customers, and it shows. From the outside, the building looks practically derelict, and when you step inside, it's no better. As the lights splutter to life overhead, you see the tall arcade machines lining the walls are caked with dust, and the floor is covered with all sorts of debris from toppled furniture to half-eaten snacks, presumably dropped by patrons as they ran screaming from whatever horrors befell them. And I will give you your first map of the arcade. When you say snacks, 
you know. Oh, hold on, I gotta refresh my above VTT because it's not loading. I've had it open for too long How and inactive. Edible. Whoops. How edible do these leftovers look? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you can make an investigation check and I will tell you. Because, like, Scoob is already over there. Like, <laughs> but, um... Actually, before you do that, uh, yeah, say, we... just tell everyone yeah, yeah, who our investigators are for today. I'm just going to go in, like, my Discord's order. So mm -hmm. we'll start with um, Ecto. Tell us uh, about your character and who we see as you all enter the Press Pause Arcade. Well, you see a about five foot five half blonde half elf rogue. A uh, rogue, darn bard. Bard. <laughs> I mean, I've been describing my ro my rogue for so long that it's just automatic. <laughs> She's got uh, her hair is very. Sh it's like a shaggy blonde, pixie cut. Ears are kind of packed, you know, poking through. Black choker around her neck. Another necklace with what looks like a guitar pick hanging from it. Electric guitar on her back. She's got like a black leather jacket. Sleeves come to her elbows. Black uh, t-shirt that says Pop Rocks on it. Um, plaid uh, mini skirt with a belt on it. But there's <laughs> an amplifier right on her hip. And there's hanging, yeah, like a little pocket amp that's plugged directly into the electric guitar on her back. Big stompy boots. And then there's like a weird rectangle that is hanging just below the, the amplifier. That is Emberly Roxanne Rose. Well, that's nice. a badass name. That's nice. like a, that is an influencer name, but in a good way. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, also for the, your benefit, also chat's benefit. So this is, we're doing like urban fantasy settings, obviously like arcade, electricity, video games, but there's magical races, there is magic. Uh, so think, like urban fantasy. So if if magic existed in modern day and a fantasy races existed in our world, that's what Which that's is a the vibe. Fire idea. Right? I love urban fantasy. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite genres to read. All right, uh the next investigator we have to mm -hmm. enter the arcade, mm -hmm. Koiba, please describe your character. Uh so you see this like 5 foot 8 uh bunny boy. <laughs> uh speaking of fantasy Aragon. races. <laughs> yeah. Terragon. Uh, wearing like a beanie hat, has like these big white ears just poking up. Uh, wearing like very like just like a t shirt and jeans. Really just sort of not that. Has like a fanny pack on that's almost like a tool belt that has like random tools in it as well. Um, I guess he's like has like quite good like blue eyes, really bright blue eyes. Little whiskers, very small nose, like it's. If you didn't see the ears, it'd be quite hard to tell at first that, like, it, it's a rabbit. <laughs> but, like, when you, like, look, you're like, oh, this is clearly a rabbit mess. Yeah. Um, yeah, just very sort of, like, seems, like, almost done with the job. <laughs> like, it's already had enough. Um, and it's just, just standing there, man. <laughs> like, and, that, and his name is Rex Bristle. So we have Emberly Rex and we have Bristle. Rex... I should be writing these down too for my own for Rex, Br Rex Bristle. <laughs> you can call her Ember. That's yep. fine. Ember and Rex. I should probably right. write the names down as well. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm to address you. <laughs> so I can use your character names lines. once we get started. <laughs> uh, the the third investigator we have to enter, Amanda. Please describe your character for us. All right. So I'm going to be playing a. Um, a human character with brown hair, uh, probably wearing like a like a 90s anime t-shirt, maybe like something like Sailor Moon or Yu Yu Hakusho. And um, uh, over that, a black Kaori like this, like the one I'm wearing now. Um, but, uh, you know, probably a little, uh, maybe like with a lining on the inside, not like this uh, secondhand one I got. And, um, Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think she also probably has like, you know, cat ears with little bells on them or something. <laughs> um, and I am flavoring and, and she's carrying around like one of those like Sailor Moon cosplay ones um, that uh, and uh, as like a, as like her weapon and she has the power of God and anime on her side. It's your paladin Kia, ready to help. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What was her name? Sorry. Kia. 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 K I A. Yeah. Like a car. 
<laughs> no, I thought the exact same thing. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then, last but not least, uh, we have uh, two creatures follow in uh, to the Press Pause Arcade. Dutch, describe yourself yes. and your companion for us. Sebastian, Sebastian Hag, or Shag, to his friends. Uh, tall, like like six two ish, uh, pretty skinny looking uh, uh, ranger. Uh, messy brown hair. Some wearing some like obscure seventies band merchandise, like T-shirt that no one has ever heard about, really. Uh, and some some ripped jeans. On these like kind of these like 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 these like Timberland type boots, if you know what I mean. Uh, on the Tims. Um, when you get a little too close to him, you might smell the faintest trace of uh, some uh, substances that he likes to smoke in his spare time. <laughs> um, and he's accompanied by a great Dane. He's called Scoob. Yeah, I'm leaning fully, fully into this. Um, <laughs> uh, just big brown, like like great Dane dog. Uh, Perfect. That follows him around. And uh, also, we'll go. So th you all have been members of. The, the Pi Squad, Paranormal Investigator Exterminators, for uh, at least, uh, up to you, at least three months, because that's the probationary period for this organization, for you to get sent off without, uh, like, a supervisor or one of the ex more experienced investigators. Uh, but some of you may have been there longer. Um, up to you. I'll leave that for you to decide. You have never worked with each other, however, because the organization has been growing and growing, of course, given that we live in a world where urban fantasy magic is real, um, along with all the modern things and modern technology that exist. Uh, that can lead to lots of angry spirits that pass away. So there's, as well as magical creatures, sometimes benign, sometimes less benign. So there's plenty of cause for your business and it's been booming. Um... But so you've never worked together before. This will be your first mission with this particular team. You've been newly put together by management. And going, going so Ember, what is one thing, uh, like one fact or, or something in your reputation that may precede you that the others may have heard about you? It can be true. It can be false. You decide, but you don't have to tell us. Oh, oh, it is so true. You actually hit the nail on the head with the name because while she's a wannabe rock star, she knows that in these modern times, you have to branch out. <laughs> so she is also an influencer. In, in, in fact, in fact, uh, she's live on TikTok right now. <laughs> she's live streaming she, your yeah, investigation. She, <laughs> it's she live just TikTok call live. a dungeon select as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she you have, so she's so, walking in. She's recording on her phone for talking a video to later. her community. Gotcha. That's funny. So yeah, you the first thing you see as you walk in is yeah, Ember doing the stuff like tour of the arcade and all of you are immediately reminded that you heard of uh, her internet fame per se. Um, Rex, what's one thing they uh, will have heard about you? Rex looks cute as a button and then has like on on his file it says like anger management issues. <laughs> That can't be possible. <laughs> this cute little guy. But, like, he walks in, sees the influencer, and just like, Ah, oh, man, this shit again. <laughs> Not a fan of the TikToks. Um, what's a TikTok? It's the sound <laughs> the clock makes. Kia, what's what's some part of your reputation that will precede you that this group will have heard about? Um, oh, probably that she's really annoying. And... <laughs> Yeah, it's not untrue. So yeah, <laughs> she's probably gonna come in with her with her nose in a dojin. She like you know just <laughs> like one of just like she, she can't it. actually read it super well, but it's uh, but you know the the art is really great, and you know she got it from Japan. So um, perfect. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> and last but not least, Shag, what's something the group will have heard in gossip <clears throat> around the water cooler at work about you and Scoob? Um, see, I could, there's, there's a couple of things that I could bring up, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep it somewhat PG. Um, <laughs> no, um, there is kind of this reputation that surrounds uh, Shag that 
he gets very distracted when near food, and mm. that has definitely gotten, not necessarily him, but some of his fellow colleagues in risky situations uh, during previous jobs. So mm -hmm. people tend to not really enjoy being put up with him. But he's promised to work on it several times. Great. He's on his final warning, but it's like his eighth final warning. Yeah. <laughs> so to describe a little of what you're seeing on this map of the arcade. So the entrance is on the south, like southwest. You can see those doors. So that's where you've entered from where the orange stools are. So you see six different uh, video game machines on the western half in two rows of three lined up. Um, there is a seating area over against the back wall. The There's an air hockey table to your right. And then there's like a snack slash concession area in the upper back right corner. So th that's like the things you're seeing on your little map there. When you first immediately walk in. Can I, if I change my like profile picture in D&D Beyond, it should It'll change it. So yeah, your it. token will have something different, which will help <laughs> when we start putting oh, tokens okay. on the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, look how little you are. The tokens are so small. Good thing you can oh, zoom. Yeah. How do yeah. I how, how do token? Oh. I put the token on the map. Oh, now if okay. you zoom, you can move your token around. How the fuck do you zoom? I'll figure it out. The top That's right, yeah. I think you all can only move your token, and it should be like that. Yeah. No, you can move other people's. I'm going to re-put yours in, because I see your picture, Dutch. And... Yeah, I need hey, to change it real quick. So it's known so, you can move other people's tokens. Okay, so yeah, you can't. So be respectful. Don't make sure you're moving your token. <laughs> oh, Dutch, you're getting fucking launched into space, dude. <laughs> I'm moving Why my token. are you like this? Huh? Funny. This oh. should now be. I might refresh it one more time because I see the picture, but when I put it on the map, it only shows the old placeholder. So I'm gonna refresh one more time. Uno más. Uno más. Okay. There we go. Now it's your picture. Cool. And I'm gonna just find a token of a dog and put it on there a first. A dog. Time. A dog token. There you go. There's Scoob. There's your dog. I need to super zoom in. Oh, yeah, you got. They're yeah, no, they're I little. <laughs> okay, so my picture has changed again, but uh, it's still the no whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It's a picture. It's we can tell them apart, and that's what matters. That's the important yeah, part. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, you've entered yeah. the arcade. Not a not a soul to be seen. There is still power to the place. Like it's not completely dark. Some of the like ne the neon lights in the back of the snack bar still lit up. Lights coming out of the refrigerators, etc. But it's still pretty, like relatively dim. It's not like fully lit up. Samber so is just standing there in the middle, just recording everything <laughs> she can. All right, Sparks, yeah. we've made it here, and we're gonna do our best. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. So where's and, these fridges uh, at? The, you see on uh, behind the air hockey table, oh, there's okay. those two things that are kind of glowing. Those would be like the fridges. Behind the pool hey. table on the, the thingy. Yeah. Well, it looks like this is a chance for me to use my special power by the power of anime. I'll cause the, the illumination of my... Mornings, my mace of disruption, <laughs> which uh, yeah, it has a, it has a passive like um, sheds bright light in a twenty foot radius and dim light for an additional twenty feet. So. You see, okay. uh, yeah. hearing that, Rex like goes to pull out a cigarette, but then like remembers he's quit. He's like, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> All right, so as you do that, and now you can see a little more. Um, you see. Three of the arcade machines look uh, fairly broken. Like the screen's been shattered or like they, they fell over and someone turned, tipped them back up kind of thing. Um, you see there's lots of garbage on the floor. Like people dropped their snacks or cups, like things for nachos and stuff like that on the floor. Um, like sticks for corn dogs, empty soda cups. Also some spare, like spare tokens for the machines scattering the floor here and there. Some playing cards. Um, and you see... There are three machines that uh, seem less broken than the others. What, can I ever see what games are on the machines? 
you can roll an investigation check for me. No, well, while he does day. that, can I just like rummage the fridge and see if there's anything edible? Yes, you can also roll an investigation check for me. It's a it's a huge number, boys. It's a nine. I'm starting off strong. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I? Uh, I'm gonna head over to the couch. Is because I see a. Uh... Teddy bear here, and I want to poke the teddy bear. It's a panda teddy bear, yep. Uh, you poke the teddy bear. It feels fairly soft, fairly cuddly. It feels higher quality than you'd expect for a lot of the, like, crappier arcade prizes that exist out there. Seems like a decent I pick teddy, up bear. The teddy bear. Go ahead. You can add panda teddy to your inventory if you'd like. <laughs> uh, 22 for the rummage through the fridge check. 22. I will now have a buddy with me. All right. Uh, you rummage through the fridge. It's... It takes you all of two seconds because it looks pretty cleaned out. Like, it looks like this place might have people looted it once they realized it was closed. But there were some things left. They had some, uh, like, strange flavors of sodas as, like, a gimmick. So all your regular Ooh. things, like your Cokes, your Pepsis, your Sprite, your ginger ale, your root beers have been mostly ransacked. You find one can of Coke that was knocked over, but it's still half full, a little flat. Like, if you pick up some of the liquid in it, like, you can take. But there are also some unopened sodas. You know those ones where they make, like, buffalo wing flavor soda, like, ranch oh, soda, bacon yeah, soda, I'm like, the weird, strange, gimmicky flavors? There there will be two in there. We'll find one of them will be a bacon-flavored soda, and the other one, because I've seen it again, will go with, like, like, buffalo wings and blue cheese-flavored soda. Dude, I'm I'm putting the buffalo wing soda in my in my satchel or whatever my bag. You also I crack open the bacon soda and immediately ba <laughs> bacon soda, yep. not baking soda. Yeah. Right? Now that the light um, has been lit up by Kia as well, you also see over at the snack stand. There's one of those like rolling hot dog machines where like the wieners roll back and forth to keep them like warm and evenly cooked. And there is one re remaining hot dog on there, and it's still rolling. The machine's going. And there's one old hot dog left there. Uh, you guys aren't gonna like eat that, right? It's probably been sitting here for like a year. <laughs> you know what's your point, man? <laughs> Ew. That has been sitting here for like a year. I bet you that's still good, man. But if y'all ain't gonna go for it, man, I I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I mean, I want to watch it, but at the same time, I wouldn't touch it. I do, I do like the the, the, the classic like smell check. Like, <laughs> does it like? You know. Uh, roll. Ooh. <laughs> it's a fucking year old dog. Man. No way so <laughs> roll a perception. Roll a perception check. Oh, and we'll say with advantage because I know who your character is based off of, and he got a pretty powerful oh, sense of smell. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a twelve. It definitely smells stale, like compared to a fresh hot dog, which you've inhaled many. It's not mm -hmm. the same, but the underlying smell, like, you know, that nice, like, greasy, processed meat, like, meat oh, flavor oh, smell oh, oh, oh. still there. <laughs> I'll pick it up, snap it in half, give one half to Scoob and eat the other half. All right. Roll a constitution saving throw for <laughs> me. God. Yeah. Uh, and I'll roll one you. for Scoob. Does he? What stat block is he using? Like the mastiff like stat block in D and D Beyond? I have, I guess, yeah. Because I was gonna use that. Was like mastiff, Great Dane, both pretty big dogs. Yeah, you know? pretty big dogs. I rolled a four. <laughs> you rolled a nice, four. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, hold up. I need to find. You die. I need to find my fucking. There we go. <clears throat> I need to open the doggy stat block. Constitution. Okay. Um, he rolled better than you. Scoob rolled an 11, but you both eat the hot dog. You instantly, even for you, and you fight it because, you know, you're the food guy. You have a pretty strong stomach, but, uh, fairly quickly, within seconds, you're just immediately, like, just, like, cough it back up because it is, you try and swallow it and you just can't. Scoob does swallow it, but then he throws up, like, two minutes Ugh. later. <laughs> like... both look at each other and just kind of, like, <laughs> Thank you. look at the rest of the guys. I just hey, again <laughs> give him Could the look. Risk food going bad. All right, man. It <laughs> went uh, bad. All right, and then uh, Rex, you were investigating the names of yeah, the games, right? Got a, got so a there huge are nine on that. Three so. games that are still seem nice. functional, but the machines, as you look at them, are like sparking with electricity. But it's also a strange color. It's not the yeah. normal that kind of, I guess yellowish orange or like mm. that that warm color of like electricity sparks it almost gives off more of a a blue uh like sparky aura these three games 
Um, one mm. is called Pepe's Manor. One is called Immortal Combat. And one is called nice. Dream Mummy. Yo, Immortal Combat. I used to be so good at this game when I was a kid. <laughs> and I'm going to fucking go to that one. Oh, we watching. had a 20 pound donation. Oh. Uh, let me check if they trigger, if they redeemed a wild magic surge or not. Because again, we have donation incentives. If you missed them in the beginning, beginning check them out. Oh, they did. They did oh, two oh, double oh. wild magic surge. All right. So we get our first ones. I'm going to roll twice. Okay, um, we here we go. So as you're looking at the game machine. So the first one, we have a 77. Uh, so as you say, you um, like Immortal Kombat, you're like, let's go. You do a bit of a fist pump. Yeah. You realize you look at your arm. It's not there anymore. But then you're like, I feel it. I feel an arm. Like I, I oh. have one. You go to touch something. The arm's there. But your arm. And then you look at your other arm. And it fades in front of you. So now, at the moment, anyone looking at you, you look like an armless bunny man. Bunny man. <laughs> but your arms oh, are guys. still there. But your arms have... Ac mm, actually, question. Wording. I'm gonna... I need any other DM's interpretation here. Dutch or anyone else who has been in the DM chair. The wording. Cool. The caster's arms fade into the ethereal for X amount of time. Does that mean the arms are gone gone? Or just like... Because fade into yeah, the ethereal, say, ethereal plane, I mean, like they're gone, or I'd they just aren't only the visible this, in the ethereal, ethereal plane. I think, yeah, like the arms are still there, but like they're just invisible. They just kind of, they're invisible here, and they yeah. they are visible in the ethereal plane. So anyone in the ethereal, ethereal plane, plane is seeing floating arms. Ethereal plane are floating kind of arms, nobody. Way, like, so I uh, fail, yeah, like, straight up, different. just All like. Right. Guys, I think this machine might be haunted. I don't know what's going on. I just turned my arm. into a bunny nugget, man. A what bunny happened? nugget. <laughs> I still have my legs. It's just my arms gone. And then the second wild magic surge. That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> we got a 59. Um, so your arms disappear, but at the same time, and like, you know, some bunnies tend to have fairly prominent front teeth, well, the like the bunny buck again. teeth, you know? Dude, mm -hmm. uh, your teeth, which were already slightly more prominent before, not like crazy, now they get a bit more comically like bunny buck teeth, but then they also sharpen into fangs, and your teeth are now capable of dealing 1d4 piercing damage for the next three hours. Oh no. Hey, I, Laura? <laughs> there is a question that has to be asked here, but, but a little later. Is this going to be an additional... You'll find out later. We'll, later? We'll find out. Yeah. Let me... We'll find... I, have a, I, have, I have a question for later about this 1d4. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So yeah. So And to recap, as this happened, you had just finished telling the group that the three remaining oh, intact happening. machines are Immortal Combat, Pepe's Manor, and Dream Mummy. Uh, yeah, I'll find that and I'll... I'll have gone up to the Immortal Combat machine actually when this like crazy shenanigans shit just happens. I would like to kick the machine, that fucking uh, the Immortal Combat. <laughs> Stupid fucking machine, Stupid man. Fucking, machine. <laughs> fucking uh, what the fuck? Okay. Hold like, on while don't... I scroll for a second. I wanna check before I tell you incorrect things. Oh, no. okay. Um Oh god, oh no. So you as you kick it, you kick yeah, it, kick the, the machine, the machine like, starts kind of like sparking even harder and almost it begins uh. to vibrate. And then it lights up with a blue glow reminiscent of the sparks. And you see all of your bodies start glowing with the same glow. And then oh. uh, you start in a very like 90s, oh, yeah. early 2000s, like cyber hacking, like what technology looks like vibe. You all kind of become that like grid mark pattern first and then are sucked <laughs> pixel by pixel oh, into no. the Immortal Combat machine. Um, the first thing you see, oh, we picked the worst one out of the three, probably. <laughs> you are in a large. Vanilla, why did you do this to us? <laughs> did you say Banicula? Yes, Banicula. Armless Banicula. <laughs> you are in a large stone arena. Flagstones spiral on the floor to create a circular pattern, in the center of which stands an enormous hulking figure in a white gi. He does not move or acknowledge you. Around the arena are three stone pillars engraved with symbols. And let me show you. First of all, this is what the guy looks like that you see in the middle who's standing immobile. Nice. Assuming this pose. Okay. When okay. it wants to load. Mine's slow. There we go. So this is who you mm -hmm. see. Uh, mm -hmm. Does it look? Yeah, you can see him on the stream. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And then this is the zoomed out, the bigger picture of like this arena you're in. Zoom out. Zoom. 
Me and I'll throw bonk, your tokens bonk, in here bonk, for bonk, you. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I'll just kind of like look around, look at sure. the gang. Um, I think I've played this game before, man. Yeah, I used to be. I used to be so good at this game. I'd be all my friends all the time. Hated that character. Why are we here? <laughs> I don't know, I kicked the shit up. Am I I'm still invisible? Yes. Oh, oh my <laughs> arms are still gone! The armless hair kicked the machine and made us get sucked <laughs> into it. That's why we are here. I'm a rabbit, not a hair! <laughs> and yeah, so those pillars um, uh, that you see engraved with symbols, it's like... Almost like, you know, when um, it's like like a, a spin or a slide puzzle, like there's each column has three symbols and like three rows that you see grooves that seem like those three things could move. The Hang symbols on, that you see, the, the different symbols, uh, there's a letter K, a set of scales uh, and a triangle and a ghost are the different symbols that alternate on these wheels. Kind of hugging oh, Scoob for comfort while I look at the rest, and hopefully one of them has a has, a, has an idea. Uh, I, I see the guy in the middle. I'm like, hey, hey, buddy, what's the fucking deal here? And I'm gonna start walking. Like, is it quite high up between like? No, it's level bit, ground. It's, it's just there's a difference. Like you're on oh. sand right now, and then where you see right. the the like the arena walk, starts, I'm it becomes walk stone. Into the, I'm gonna walk into the arena. Like, hey, buddy, what the fuck's your problem? Gonna, uh, I'm gonna look at one of the pillars. All right, uh, show and again put yeah. So you you go in there. So as Ember goes to look at the pillars again, you do realize those things can move, and there are the same symbols on each ring. It's not like each ring has only one symbol. Mm. So those four, the K, mm -hmm. the scales, the triangle, and the ghost are on each pillar. But as you and as, and then when you said like you're talking to the guy in the oh, middle, gosh, he did not move. He did not address you. Like he ignored oh. you. It's fine. She'll be back. I have faith. I, I'm so, so yeah. No, I am so sorry, and I'm sorry if I uh, switched. Oh yeah, I switched places with Dutch. I'm sorry. It's I all good. Everyone around. It's all good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm sorry. My um, my connection was not great. It's all good. Acceptable. My... Not acceptable. <laughs> all right. Sure. There we go. Okay, I think we're I think beautiful. We're back to correct. Do you need a new order. captions right. link? I don't think so. Perfect. No, it looks like it's still good. Great. So um, while you're examining those symbols, and again, the guy didn't address you, but the minute um, Rex walks into the stone arena, he starts all of a sudden moving, and he kind of does like uh, the back and forth, like the classic ready mode. Oh, no. And you hear, begin, in a big booming voice from a top. So I need everyone to roll initiative. What the, what, what, what the, what the, what? What? <laughs> That's good. Um, let me pull up his stat block, which I thought I already had open. <laughs> so glad we get this straight away. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm to turn on. I'm turning. I'm playing Mortal Kombat music. This is strange. Uh, we've got a bar that can just play it on guitar for you. I downloaded yeah. all the stat blocks. <laughs> Why are they not here? Rude. All right, give me a minute while I reopen. I'm so sorry. How dare you? Cams are gonna be wonky oh, go, for dude. a second. I got a five. I yeah. swore I was all prepared. Okay. Here we go. Because I literally was looking at these stat blocks earlier. Oh, I might have been looking at it on my other computer. Because I'm a dingus. Here you we go. Silly Billy. I got him. I got a stat block. We good. We Gucci. It's fine. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Starting. Oh, I have to roll his initiative, don't I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He rolled I mean, he doesn't that. have to have initiative. He can just True. You know, take a beating. What the fuck? It just, it's the training montage. It's, it's the, the training, training montage. Mode. Yeah, training not quite. Yeah. All right, uh, combat tracker. Here we go. Uh, so he rolled 
this. Um, a little point uh, of note, by the way. Mm -hmm. In fights and stuff, Scoob is a fucking coward. So all he does in combat is just, you know, hour behind cover and not do anything. Hey, you can find other things to do. <laughs> Maybe you can interact with the environment or do something else. Who knows? Uh, so I see wow. Kia and Shag are on there. Um, Rex, what did you roll? Oh, I rolled a 22. 22. Look at you go. And mm. uh, Ember, what did you roll? 14. Okay. Okay. This Please. is so strange. Now it's like I opened a stat block. I saw it. Um... And then it all of a sudden was like, nope, you can't do this anymore. And then like all of a sudden it's like, there is no information in this file. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> Try this one more time. There we go. Open it, quickly screenshot it just so you have it. Literally. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'm going to just take a picture on my phone just in case it does that again. <laughs> all right, we good. So uh, first up in our initiative order is Rex. Let's go. Uh... First thing I do, I see this, like, I hear this fight happen. It's, it's like, ah, thank God for that. And I'm going to uh, rage. Oh, going to rage. Ooh. Love it. Uh, uh, what you see right. suddenly. Anger management. I get it now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, nice. She's good. Uh, <laughs> I, you just sort of see him, like, rub his face. And then suddenly, where it was all white, his eyes just go, like, a deep red. Like, fully red. And his teeth... <laughs> Hilariously, his teeth already so extended, but like his mouth just gets wider and it's like bestial teeth go out. So I was gonna ask Laura, is because uh... I'm for because I'm part of the beast, yes. I get to use a bite or a like claw attack that I get from this form. It gives me a D eight. Do I get a D four on top of that? Uh if you use the teeth, yes. Yeah, yeah. So which I will yes. be. So it's it again, D eight plus a D four. So plus like, a D4, these, like yeah. teeth, <laughs> these teeth come out, these like thing, and it's already like dripping with blood. Like, so look at that chat. The blood. wild magic be helping our players for and if, then, like, if there was one more wild magic surge for ten pounds, so only would you make something fun happen, we hit that goal of a hundred where one of us gets a custom dice shaker courtesy of Safe in a World. Just saying. Uh and I would just like to go up or just gonna run up and just fuck him. Bite the guy. Bite him. All right, roll an attack. What the fuck is my stat block? <laughs> <laughs> That's a 24 to hit. Absolutely hits. Oh my god. Uh, for 13 points of damage. Okay. Uh, what type of damage? Uh, Actually, it doesn't matter. Okay. What? So you said 13 total? Yep. Okay. Let me just double check. Okay, no, I only just get it once. That's fine. Gotcha. Okay. Anything else uh, on your turn? Nope. I'm uh, just going to fucking bite him. It, go aim for the neck. Like, it's almost <laughs> like you see this form, and then, like, I jump like jump straight for the neck. Like, it's straight just like, <laughs> oh, my God. On the neck. Uh, this is a Monty Python reference. I got that yeah. immediately. I approve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, next, then, fun. unless you want to move anywhere, is uh, Shags. Shaggy. Ooh, hello. Uh, I'll just kind of, like, I'll look at Kia and just kind of... Mm -hmm. sure he's a bad guy, man? <laughs> and then I'll just kind of, like, look at Kia, look at this monstrosity that is this rabbit yeah. beast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I thought he was cute before. And I'll... <laughs> Hunter's oh, uh, he's more badass now. <laughs> favored enemy to cast Hunter's Mark for free as a bonus action. Cool. Uh, so Hunter's Mark, the dude, mm -hmm. in the middle, and then I will just fire the old longbow. I guess just fire an arrow at him. Um. That's also a bonus action. Can't do that. Rip. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot my bow. Cool, cool. For the one time. Oh, that's a twenty-six to hit. Absolutely Gosh. hits. <laughs> Sheesh. Calm down. Save. Natural nineteen, Brav. Uh, so that is six plus. I get a d6 for hunter's mark. Mm-hmm. Plus d6. Crazy. 
So six piercing damage and five uh, little bit of force guess... damage. Okay. It sounds like force or is it just the same damage? Same it's it's damage. listed as force yeah. damage here. Yeah. Oh. Force damage? Uh, yeah, oh, until the spell ends, you don't need an extra. Oh, that might be a new D&D rule. Oh, that might yeah. be changed. Maybe. Because I think you are right. In 5e, it would just be an additional. More of the same, thing. but yeah. But I guess I added. We're using a mixture of 5e and yeah, new whatever. rules. We do want to point of the new damage. rules. New book. Anything else on your turn? Many movements? Uh, yeah, I'll kind of just... So each of these squares is five feet for your purposes yeah. of... Turn around and look at Scoob and just say, Stay cover, man. We got this. And I'll just kind of... Uh, we can move diagonally, right? Yes, you should be able to. 10, 15. I'll just kind of get myself here in the arena at least, but still like on the edge, so not like in yeah. his face. And that'll be my turn, I reckon. All right. Uh, next is Ember. All right. Um, I'm going to move. If I get on the other side of him, will I be flanking? With Rex, yes. All right, then I will do that. And seeing as... Uh, let me just make sure I don't have... Yeah, no. All I have are daggers. <laughs> the classic. Yep. So I will attack with a dagger. You got and this, it. This, and this gives me advantage with the flanking, yes? Yes. I will take the 11 plus 4, so 15 to hit. Uh, hits. Awesome, so that is 1d4 plus 2. I will hit him. 4. Three damage. Three damage. Hey, every everything counts, you know. Excuse me. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? For now, uh, no. Okay. Uh, it is now his turn, so he is going to uh, use fists of fury on Rex. Sounds fun. Uh, so the first <clears throat> one. It's not great um the first one's an 11 to hit me yes. but the second one is a 24 yeah, uh yeah that's gonna do it <laughs> that's short for champion by the way uh Ooh. he with so Ooh, you you bob and weave you duck under the first punch but then he gets you square in the jaw you come up with the second one you take uh 11 points of bludgeoning damage Oof, oh, that hurts that hurts bro I know I tried to rip out a throat, but what the hell, man? <laughs> you are raging, right? So you take half damage? Uh, oh, I take half damage! Yeah, Fucking you're raging. Dude. What the hell is that? Do we round down? Five? Six? What? Uh, so did I take yeah, round down. Round down. So I heal but... six. Dude, I forgot. It's been so long since I played Barbarian, dude. It's been such a long time. <laughs> uh, like and thing, then next, like my... next up is Kia. Alright, so movement. She's just gonna come up over here. And then... Yeah, let's see if we're going to let's see how this um how this mace works. <laughs> or just uh do I have to target him or something or just uh is there like a targeting system with this? I've never used this before, so Oh no, you, you just do that you don't have to do on the virtual tabletop. I'm oh. just doing it uh pen and paper. This is more just for visual and tracking movement. Gotcha, gotcha. And I use the combat tracker to track turn order and stuff, but you don't need to do like interact with it like Wait, to do your I think attacks Rody and stuff. Is, is throwing in his IOU wild magic surge. Oh, is that happening? I think so. Oh. Throw in a wild magic? Okay. Just throw in a wild magic. Do you want the wild magic to be on Kia? Or is, is there chat delay? Did you mean that to be for the enemy combatant? I'm assuming you mean for Kia. Whatever Kia's about to do, we'll throw in yeah. a wild magic. I'll roll it, and then you can confirm and tell me. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, only Kia. Only Kia. Cool. 16. Uh, okay, go ahead and tell me what you're doing, your attack. So she's going. I, I'm thinking that a 13 probably misses. Um, a 13 just hits. Oh, it does. Go. Yeah. So she's just gonna be like, yeah, she's just gonna like, uh, like raise, uh, raise her like Sailor Moon wand up in the air, and it's just like <laughs> transform, bye 
battles, uh, battle mode, and it's gonna turn into this big yaoi paddle. Just kind of <laughs> on the head with it. <laughs> All right, and as you do that, as you do your transform, you have your magical girl effects happening. You also uh -huh. don't remember this being a part of your magical girl transformation, but you seem to grow antlers, also. Eh? And they are physically there. They are now, you are now Keyleth of the Arashari, basically. You got some antlers growing out of your I, head as you do this attack. <laughs> I haven't seen this anime yet. Um, <laughs> Be Stars <wonder>. Netflix original. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope it's not that one. I'm not a furry. <laughs> uh, no offense, Rex. <laughs> What's your damage for your base attack? Okay, so um, I think I think it has like a special thing for if it's say um, oh it's not showing me the thing. Uh, is if this creature is a fiend or undead? I think he it has is neither extra... of those. Okay, so I think it's just eight damage. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. the way it yeah. works, it just rolls both, and then you just have to like figure out. Um, like yeah. it rolled one attack roll for one d six plus two, and then another one for two d six. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, just eight damage then. Perfect. Uh, that is round one. We are back to the top of initiative with Rex. Hell yeah. Uh, I just gotta go for fucking another fight, dude. This guy hit, hit me in the face. I just going for the go for the juggler again. So I have an advantage because of the flanking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a fucking billion to it. It hits. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, his AC is 13, Billion. so... Yeah, yeah, the, the 24. Uh, and then... Yes. I really hope I'm... he doesn't die before he gets to do a cool thing, but he might. <laughs> it just might uh, not happen. I'm <laughs> going to use my piercer feat, so once per turn I can re-roll one of my damage dice. That uses piercing damage. Uh... Cool. It did actually get better. I, I, for a second, I thought it got worse, and I would like would have been so sad. <laughs> uh, plus... So proud of you. Dank. Uh, that's fourteen <laughs> points of piercing damage. Fourteen. Shit. Uh, let me let me just double check something on this bite attack as well. <laughs> uh, I got have less than half my hit points to do that. Okay, cool. Uh, that is my turn. All right. Uh, next up. As I tap. Next up is Shaggy. Oh, shit, man. Um, I would like to use a bonus action to use my Planar Warrior ability. Ooh. I choose a creature with, that I can see within 30 feet of me. And the next, uh, next time I hit that creature on uh, this turn with a weapon attack... All damage dealt by the attack becomes force damage, and he takes an additional 1d8 force okay. damage from the attack. Got gotcha. you. I'm gonna roll my attack. 16 to hit. Hits. Okay, so I roll that, and then I roll an additional d8. Max damage, holy fuck. Okay. And then the d8. So I put a total of 17 points of force damage. Uh, as you do this, uh, your bow hits him right um it hits him right between the eyes but then it does the classic like over the top fighting game it starts to like skin starts to peel back and it goes all the way through his head and you shoot the arrow like clean in one side out the other and he crumples to the ground as you hear fatality above you from some booming voice coming from somewhere <laughs> and Dang. uh oh, shit, man as one? he crumples to the ground, uh, like his the, his like form kind of fades with a, like skin peeled back from his face and like the blood everywhere, and then the form fades, and now you see like it respawns a fresh version of him, but he's no longer oh, in like battle pose. Fights. No, oh. he's no longer in battle pose. Now he's just here in oh. like basic, mo almost like character oh. select, but he's also not frozen now, and he looks like he can, uh, like he can converse with you. Before it was like someone had pressed pressed pause. Pun intended, uh, on him when he first encountered me was stuck there, but now he's like right. animated. Right, right, right. Yeah. All right. He goes, and he goes, well, yeah. he goes, well, well fought, my friend, and like bows to Shaggy and uh, your your crew. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, man. You see Rex coming out of his rage, eyes instantly blue, 
the like blood around his mouth just like disappears as well. Like it just comes normal. <laughs> like it just like magic stuff all goes back in his throat. Oh, oh. Well met, Mr. Fighter Dude. He's like, they call me the combatant. The combatant. They That's call me like... Emberly or M or Ember. I'm fine with all of them. He 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 looks like he wants to shake your hand, but he has a limited animation, so he just bows again. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't animate a handshake. Yeah, stop, stop coding the game, dude. Well, that's what they get with the 16 bits. It can only do so much. <laughs> so, do you know like how we got like, trapped in here? Uh, I do not. My apologies. Do you like know how we get out of here and how to get rid of these antlers? Because you know, I haven't like I haven't seen that Noko, my dear friend Nokotan. So I don't know if I could pull off a cosplay quite yet. And she likes to look at her antlers. I like the antlers. I think they make you look badass. Oh well, you know, maybe I'll 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 keep with them for a little bit. You know, makes you a unique fighter. We don't have one with antlers in this game. Oh, you guys have well, food in this game, man? Like a sandwich or something? What is food? And as you say this, you realize your feet start I mean, to have that same, like, pixelating. You see, like, pixels of you are glowing and starting to leave the game world. So you get the sense that you are being just automatically, you've beat the game. So your bodies are now leaving. You have limited time left before you exit sorry about Immortal the headache, Kombat. Dude. I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, ripping out your neck. Uh, <laughs> that was dumb. Before, so wait, before we go, uh, just one more time, what were the uh, symbols on the pillars? Uh, they were uh, a K, a ghost, mm -hmm. a triangle, and a set of scales. Like the scales of judgment triangle, kind of scales. scales. Okay. K, ghost, triangle, scales. Okay. A ghost, triangle, scales. My new passport. I mean, a not new passport. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so your bodies down, continue AD. to glow and you uh, have that uncomfortable feeling of it's unlike any other magical <laughs> teleportation that you're used to um, there's there's an uncomfortable sensation with this one it's almost like getting a really one of those like static mild electric shocks but like at, throughout all your body all at once not enough to like cause damage or cause permanent pain but it's very uncomfortable and you it's come like, back no. out you come back out into the press pause arcade, and the immortal combat machine is no longer sparking, and only can, the other can I two save, are. Say before, just before I fade, I just leave with like, don't forget to like and subscribe, <laughs> <laughs> God, or donate if you're watching the one shot. This, or generation, <laughs> this generation's doomed. <laughs> doomed. <laughs> I was kind of like, as we're all out of that machine. Look at the rest and just kind of. What the fuck, man? That was like Totemo Kawaii. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it was really scary. There was like. Oh, yeah. I guess it was then. So, just to um, give you a visual aid, I'm just going to use the draw tool and say so this machine. Oh, no, I don't want a line. I don't want a rectangle. Rude. This machine is no longer sparking. <laughs> Yo, why the fuck is my my token so much smaller than everyone else's? Hang on a I second. have no idea. On? You're a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> Just a little bunny. The shaggy one's also small. I can enlarge it if you want. If you no, if you're, fine. your it's ego kind of needs that, you know. No, no, it's kind of it's kind of pretty <laughs> fucking funny. I'm tiny. <laughs> so nice. Okay. It's a little bunny boy again now, guys. Nothing weird's going on. I'm not a <laughs> not no a wear rabbit. <laughs> can not. I just kind not of a vanicula. <laughs> walk around the other? arcade machines while having cast detect magic just to kind of do a little vibe check yeah sure other um roll magical. so then roll an arcana Guidance. check for me uh well if i cast detect magic it just oh right you're, you're you're doing it that uh, way haha uh yeah. yes no, you no, you detect so the machines <laughs> that are sparking um mm -hmm. definitely have an aura I will, I would say maybe it's a combination of, um, abjuration magic and mm, abjuration and transmutation magic, I guess. A combination of the two. 
if I had to... So I'll kind of, like, look at the group. Yeah, so all the other machines are, like, totally magical, dude. Um... So, we got hired, right, mm -hmm. to figure out why this place is haunted. But I mean, if I went to an arcade and got sucked into the machines, I'd probably run too, man. Yeah, I but mean, makes sense. Uh, you, well, as you look at, also look around, you see the, the Immortal Combat machine is now showing the list of, um, like, you know, like, the high scores for the arcade, uh -huh. and, um, you see that there's a bunch of initials on there, um, and the, the, there's, like, scrolling through, uh, the, there's more than ten, it shows, like, the top 100, and it, like, scrolls, and it's, like, varied, uh -huh. but as it gets to the top, like, 15 or so, it's just the initials, uh, TJK, over and over and over again, and there's, like, TJK. ten, ten of the exact same score, like, as if the, like, there's no higher score that exists, and they've gotten, like, perfect ten times. Wow. Interesting. Does that TJK. ring any bells for any, like, paranormal shit that we might know? Roll an Arcana check if you'd like, or a, or a history check. There it is. There it is. Guidance. Is I can cast cool. guidance up to sixty feet away. Hell yeah! Oh, Pull that's cool. Move. Yeah, college uh, spirits. You say Arcana or or uh, history. history? Cool. Say it's the same number, so that's perfect. Uh, it's a huge fifteen because I got a plus four from. <laughs> guidance. Uh, guidance. Nice. Um, you know a lot of people. Like it could be like could be someone's initials, but most people who are like this hardcore gamers and like clearly someone's been mm -hmm. grinding to get these scores. Um it's unlikely initials, but probably some linked to like a gamer tag or a title they give themselves or an acronym of some kind, as opposed to the others, which look like they could just be player initials, can't come up with anything more creative. You also notice um there were a few of them at the bottom, uh, as well scattered and then and then all of us all of a sudden like a bunch at the top so they also this person wasn't mm. always like the best at this game it could be a streamer but it's nothing what? nothing specifically paranormal is coming to mind more just general like arcade just, uh yeah. psychology no, okay, yeah. as opposed to anything magical yeah. that's coming to nerd mind nerd shit yeah Nerd shit. Could I roll for nerd shit as well? <laughs> <laughs> you can roll a straight intelligence check if you want to roll for nerd shit. Guidance. <laughs> Guidance. Oh, cheers. Uh... Like I said, I've got sixty feet and it's a cantrip. Yeah. You get guided. You oh, that's a guided. saving throw, darn it! But it's oh, it's a not twenty. Hell yeah. Um, yeah plus your guy just default, let's go. Given given <laughs> yeah. what Rex was saying about how people that you know have put this much time into video games and typically have a gamer oh, tag. Nerds. Something more clever than their name, because who the fuck would just have their name and numbers, right, as a username? Like, who yeah. does that? Who does uh, that? Who does More that? Okay but, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and so, your guess, a lot of, uh, also, not only is it an easy one to throw in for that, like, first initial, for when it comes to these minimum yeah. when you're, like, um, restricted to three letters, but also if you yeah. want to immediately sound more important than you are, put the, the in front of you. It's like, yeah. the something, the whatever. Thinking, so also this person yeah. probably either has a high opinion of themselves or is trying to make others think think of, like, a grandiose opinion of them. Yeah, I'm feeling like it's the something king or something. The game so king. king. Was it J or G? Hang on. G. T G K. Oh, G. Never mind. The Game TGK. King. I might have Ghost said J King. by accident. I don't know. Yeah, T G K. The Game King, maybe. Yeah. The Gremlin Creme. <laughs> the Ghost King. The Ghost oh. King, maybe. Oh, Ghost oh. King. also good. Um. All right. I feel like we're gonna have to get sucked into all of these, don't we? There's only uh, one way to find out, stupid yeah, fucking but, video games. Before before we go video into the next one, video games are actually very efficient for society. <laughs> Before we go to the next one, I think I want to check out this uh, card game on the on the little stool here. Does that look like anything particular, or is that? Just uh, you can roll an investigation check. Investigation. Guidance. Thank you. 
free guidance on every fucking ability check. Let's go. Essentially, yeah. Okay, so it's 20, and then uh, how much for guidance? Uh, to roll a d4 uh, four. and add that to your uh, roll. Oh, d4. Okay, so then add a d4. Uh, uh, yes. Roll, please. And a four, so that's a total of 24. Uh, you're going through. It seems like a regular deck of cards. It seems like maybe people were just playing a game and then, like, dropped them and they scattered when they ran from whatever scared them. The one thing that you do notice is that one or two of the cards seem mm-hmm. to be stained. Um, mm-hmm. Like, at first, you know, and some of it, like, you go to, like, see if it flakes off because it's the, <clears throat> the color of dried blood. And you go to see if it flakes off, oh. like, maybe it's fresh, but it does it. Like, the the cards themselves are physically... It's very subtle. It's only, like, a, a corner of one here or there. There's, like, a bit too much, like, pigmentation on one of the king's faces here. But it does look like some of them are stained with old blood and, like, stained into the card itself. Oh, that's gross. Um, looks like something kind of icky happened here. Like, like someone yeah. bled on these cards. I'm trying to figure uh, out the connection, man. Like, how does... We got sucked into that video game and were forced to fight, but nothing happened here. Do you think if we can go into those things, can something come out? And that maybe caused havoc here? Wouldn't that be cool? Well, I'm, I think getting suck in, sucked into video games is pretty fucked up anyways. I mean... Oh, but it's like the plot of so many thing. isekai. It should be fun. It's we'll also say, quick quick retcon, when you were looking at the scores yeah, yeah. Uh, on the oh. Mortal Kombat, uh, it was yeah. allowing you to input uh, your choice of three letters. You now have the oh. top You now have the top score after beating oh, the combatant. Cool. If I, if I so see you that, as a team Rex. can choose what three letters you're putting in there. Oh, Rex just puts Rex, but... That was a chance to put P.I.E. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, that, yeah. Unfortunately, this is Rex's game. Yeah. That was Rex's game. <laughs> Anyways, so back to your conversation. I got the top, got the top score. Um, uh, all right. That's pretty yeah. fucking crazy. I don't know about you guys. Should we maybe just do a, a proper sweep of the entire room, man, before we get in? Like, you found blood. Maybe we can find out some yeah. more stuff. I guess we're looking for more food, though. Is that what this is really all about? I'm. Uh, see, if my search happens to be in the kitchen area of this place, man, I wouldn't be opposed. Do not lie to the wielder of the mighty Yowie paddle. I don't know what any of that means, man. <laughs> if if you if you find another hot dog, I'm not healing you. <laughs> no. Me neither. Oh, I've got lay on hands, but I am going to avoid. Uh, I won't seem... eat. I'm not going to promise that. I'll <laughs> do my best not, not to eat. <laughs> For like five minutes, man. <laughs> Scoob! To the kitchen. Okay! So, weird, weirdly, does like or a like, bat- Wherever bat- the corner is where they're like, I'm sure that's yeah. like a desk where you can like buy snacks or whatever. Yeah, it's that gray counter in the upper right yeah. corner I'll on the map. I'll do some yeah. investigating over there. Not looking for food exclusively. Like, but, I am keeping my eyes open for anything that seems yeah. weird or out of place or whatever. But if there happens to be a bag of chips there, you know, yeah. <laughs> that computer that's up there check. is, like, is that on? Uh, it doesn't look like it's on at the moment. The only thing that's lit up are the arcade machines and the fridges. Nice. And, the, um, like, the neon backlit sign guns. on the wall. Can I try and press the power button on that? Like, sure. Uh, can I find a PC you unit? can turn it on. It like the screen is flickering, like the monitor's been damaged, so it's gonna give you a headache if you look at it for like too long. But yeah, there the the computer turns on. And there's like some pixels. There's like a dead corner where some pixels are missing. Oh, that's fucked up. Rex has had all his monsters where he's punched the fuck out of every yeah. monster he's ever owned. I love an eighteen. Mm-hmm. An eighteen. Uh, you mm-hmm. look around. You find some of the bags of opened crisps on the floor that have been dropped. I still have some intact crisps in them. Uh, which you're welcome. To, they again very stale, feeling. Uh, variety of flavors. You also find how much did you roll again? Eighteen. Eighteen. You find uh, fifteen copper pieces on the ground because that's what are used to play the arcade machines. Right. Dude, fuck it. Boink. 
All right. Uh, I've eaten those chips before I <laughs> rejoin the rest. Roll another constitution check. Them with... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> with advantage, no check, because your save. stomach is steeled after that hot dog. Tummy. Uh, no save or check? Either. Save. Sorry. Okay. With advantage? Yes. Oh, <clears throat> Because you have that, that bacon soda to wash it down <laughs> with if you need to. I do have that soda. Uh, Only an eight? <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Oh, this time you don't, you don't throw up, but you let out like the biggest belch after you eat them. And everyone turns and looks. And then you have you have the, the rumblies. You don't feel so hot. So you're not throwing up, but you are very nauseous for the next like hour. Uh, yeah. Does this oh, computer like turn on and does it like just log straight in? Or do I have to fuck it? Is there like a... It's it's logged okay. in as like an admin user, yeah. uh, so you don't have to worry about password or anything. And it's like administrative user of the arcade. I want to look through like files. Does it seem like there was like CCTV in here that might have been hooked to the house? I'm fucking oh, trying to find. Roll an investigation check. Guidance. Or cyber Guidance. investigation. Cyber. There's investi no technology skill in D and D beyond, yeah. or in in D and D because it's typically not in an urban setting. So this mm -hmm. this one shot would be fun to then also translate to another more urban tabletop uh, RPG yeah. setting. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Um, you first you find like their financial records. You're like, I don't think the answer's gonna be there. Yeah. Skim that. Um, you find uh like marketing promotioning promotional folder. And there's like posters for events coming up, like video game tournaments, a cosplay contest that they were gonna have in the past. Um, the one thing you do see <clears throat> is also, uh, you check like the email chain and the person said we need, um, the reason there's a lot of events concentrated all around one time, like a year ago, like there was like, normally they would do like one a month or something, but there was one where there was like three back to back to back and then another like two. Um, and that seems strange and you see an email being like um that says something along the lines like it's being sent to from like the owner of the arcade to like marketing right. team um right. that the last contest went really well let's have some more we need some more things to push the memory of the incident out of the customers heads light of 87 So there was like an incident and they're trying to cover it up. I don't know. Can I find anything more about this incident? Is there any sort of like... After you find that, you start looking thing? around and then the computer seems to like, like short circuit almost and the screen goes black and you can't get it back on. Uh, I punched the monitor off the fucking desk. <laughs> it's a Stupid piece of technology. <laughs> Come oh. on. Why is nothing here? <laughs> you gotta like really uh, work on that, man. Work on what? You. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't want really to talk about it. It's all good. Just, it's stupid. Why have to pen and paper, you know? Room records. What's wrong with that? Well, I, there's a filing cabinet right here. Why don't you look through that? <laughs> I, I am looking underneath the uh, hockey, air hockey table. Air hockey table? Uh, yeah, just... yeah. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. It's a pool table, man. It's a fucking pool table. No, it's an air hockey. No, it's, 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 an air, it's supposed to be an air hockey table. The art makes oh, it look yeah, like a pool yeah. table, but it's meant to be an air hockey table. Yeah, fair, I don't fair, know fair. what this weird American hockey is fire. Too. <laughs> I cast guidance on myself. On myself. On myself. Let's see. What is my investigation? Pretty good for the last I checked. Oh, no so space. I, music. I, I have. I can't see that. Uh, three, ten, one, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, you see, there's a lot of gum stuck on the underneath of this table. It's kind of gross. Inconsiderate. Oh. I hate when people do that. Um, you also see the occasional, like someone scratched in, like J plus L in a heart or something. Like teens just doing the teen graffiti. James and Laura, guys. You James and Laura. <laughs> Just teens. Just teens graffiti. Just teens. Yeah, you know. That's just teens. Go away. Interrupting. <laughs> you also see um, there's some, of course, like phallic drawings that some teens, I'm also sure, have left there. But yeah, nothing yeah. that seems, uh, nothing that jumps out as useful to the current mystery at hand. I take out my, uh, the, like I said, there was uh, what looked like a guitar pick around my neck. It's actually a planchette. It's got a little bit of an edge to it, and I just 
carve E R R onto it. Into the... <laughs> when um we got teleported, did mm -hmm. the did Emily's like phone also come like pixelated and still recording? Yes. <laughs> Oh God, it didn't record of... uh you look and the time on your phone like it has a timestamp for how long you've been live or whatever we'll say like it's you've been live for 22 minutes whatever you notice it's definitely not as long as it should be like it's it seems like your best guess is it stopped live streaming and or recording in the video game Damn. and it restarted once you got back into the arcade so yeah, anything inside in Mortal Kombat was not live streamed and I lost connection yeah, man, that know. sucks, man. There we go. <laughs> you said that, and I literally lost connection. Like, my <laughs> thing said you disconnected, you and now it. I've reconnected. You disconnected. Uh, I would like to look Be through careful. the filing cabinet. Are, they Are we live again? Are we good? <laughs> uh, like, I'm just yeah. in my phone talking, yeah. making sure everything's good. Yeah. You look through the filing cabinet, and the filing cabinet just seems to be, it's either the warranties for any piece of technology, like the machines, or like the kitchenware, like technology warranties and instruction manuals for all the stuff in this arcade. It's also like purchase orders for new arcade machines, like you can see when they bought these things, blah, blah, blah. Um, you do see there is a uh, purchase order for one video game that you look around and doesn't match any of the uh cabinets in here is that one of the latest purchases they made is there any is there any purchases it's about that line it's about up? a year old that one yes is there any purchases that line up with like when the we can imagine when this disaster happened or this like whatever event that's happening the why people don't come the incident sorry can you repeat that for a sec uh is there any like warranties or like purchase orders that come in that are like very near the same time as the inc like where we think the incident might have happened like when because we can tell from like yeah. i guess they when say the haunting so. they say the haunting yeah. started like the dangerous part of the haunting yeah. that was driving people away only started like a month or so ago but like right. there were rumors about the press pause arcade mm. anywhere from like uh, like 10 to 12 months back where being like there's lights on when it's closed after hours but yeah. not like oh a machine was left on like weird uh glowing or flashing okay. lights weird noises like little things uh yeah. the only the full-blown like hauntings and the apparitions or like physical yeah. objects uh behaving badly was like only from the last month or so but rumors okay. began anywhere rumors. from like 10 to 12 uh, months ago okay okay it seems like there might have been like a new machine that may, may have fucked everything up. What was the name of that machine? So the, the machine one? that you see that there isn't one in this arcade, everything else has yeah. one in the arcade, is called Quest for the Lost Kingdom. Quest for the Lost Kingdom. It seems like it might have uh, fucked everything up. Maybe. Well, so there was this incident whenever. And Apparently. They wanted to organize Apparently. events to make people forget, and then... After all of that, they bought an arcade machine that's not in this room. And about that is when the haunting started? It seems unlucky, man. Do you have an incident and you hold all these events to make people forget? And then you buy a haunted machine? Could those events happen or would they happen after this place was like starting to run down? Like the dates that I saw. Uh, the dates of, like, all that marketing stuff, from yeah. what you remember, coincide with the beginnings yeah. of the rumors. Okay. Mm. So something must have happened, and then they did all this stuff, so... It seems like it might be something happened when this machine came in. Where's but, this machine uh, now, then, man? I don't know. Is there, like, a... Can I look around? Is there, like, a storage area, anyways? Like, a door to a storage area? Or anything? Or is it, like, um, just a there's story? a door that goes to, like a back room by the the computer looking at, but it is uh firmly locked. Like there's like super oh. heavy padlock, and there's also an electronic lock. Oh, no. We have to try and find a way into here. I think it must be their storage room. But why they lock um, it up so much? The digital lock. Is that just like numbers and letters, or is there symbols? just numbers? Okay. Mm. Like how you think in Dutch? I like how you think. I was like, <laughs> we're gonna have to go into the games, Wait. find the symbols, and that's like the password yeah. for the door. But no, okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, we do have. There were a couple letters, letters in there, right? And symbols. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yo, but, are we, um, can we take a quick break? Gales, so yep. Gales. Gales. Okay. 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 Since okay. you're yet to do your next big phase, so you're, you've, you've been sucked into one game and you're now investigating, you're starting to piece together a potential narrative. We're going to take a break here. A uh, quick break for us. Just uh, thank you to everyone who's contributed, donated so far. We've raised 90 pounds so far, which is amazing. Just a reminder, if we hit 100 pounds raised, then you guys are going to enable something really cool for us. And Koiba, if you have to go, you can go whenever yeah. I'm still talking. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> um, it, the Safe in Our World, the charity that we are raising money for, has made these super cool little potion bottle custom dice shakers. And anyone who raises 100 pounds, they are going to mail us one. They're going to mail me one. And if we get there, then we will all, all me and the players, will all roll for it live in front of you. And we'll see who gets the custom little dice shaker. Fun little mini mini rollies moment in the campaign yeah. and when we come back from break don't forget 10 pound donations you can trigger a wild magic surge a uh, higher multiples of 10 multiple sur wild magic surges any donation of two pounds or more you can give a player or the dm advantage or disadvantage on a roll of your choice either their next roll or a specific type of roll like a charisma check an attack roll persuasion check mm -hmm. etc and yeah we'll be back after this short break Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. We appreciate it.
chat. I'm back. And we have a surprise. Let me just turn the music down. We have a surprise for you. We have another friend listening in, so you might hear a new voice. They're not playing in the one shot though, but you might hear a new voice when I undeafen real quick. Using Koiba's Hello. mic and camera. Oh! Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> um, can you... you just mentioned a really smart thing. You can hide yeah. non-video participants. Uh, I already the changed the cams. Call. It didn't take long oh, at all okay. because all right, it was great. You good. Uh, Studio mode. Now how do I switch the scenes? Whatever. We'll just do this. The old-fashioned way. There you go. Cams still look good. Everybody's there. Look, there's a new person in Koiba's house. <laughs> Koiba, there's an intruder in your house! Quick, call the cops! <laughs> We're back from break. Welcome back, fam. I realized during the break, there's something I totally forgot to also mention about the Tiltify poll at the beginning of the stream. But some of you found uh -oh. it on your own, so good for you. Um, Tiltify is a feature where you can make a poll, and when people donate, they can put the poll, like, t their money they donated towards the option of the poll they want to vote for. And because we're doing d and I decided to make a poll. I've done it before, but it's a classic do it again, because also I want to see if we get the same answer. Uh, the poll we have going is who is the best Baldur's Gate 3 companion? So if you've played Baldur's Gate 3 and you have a strong opinion... Next question. It's Karlak. Well, it's Karlak, Karlak is winning right now. Karlak. Karlak is the only one with money put towards Good. her right now with 40 pounds. Good. So Good. that means wow. of the 90 pounds we've raised, 50 of those were not attributed to the poll. But going forward, if you want to donate, not only can you trigger a wild magic surge or give a player advantage or disadvantage, you could also help us definitively decide who is the best Baldur's Gate 3 companion because obviously this is the definitive poll and there's nothing else that matters. Uh, in that metric. Yeah. And those aren't mutually <laughs> exclusive, by the way. You can very much get the Wild Magic Surge while also... While also, yeah, you do both. Mm -hmm. You can uh, do one of the donation incentives and p pick the poll at the same time. Can yeah. do both. Yes, exactly. So Astaria Nation and Will Stands rise up okay. and... Astaria uh... fans. <laughs> Astaria Stands, where are you? I need you. Don't make me have to throw a bunch... Hey, there we go! Oh, There's and one also, what perfect PG3 timing class. for this, because um, the the lovely, and I know who this is this time, Gwendolyn Gray, uh, has contributed yep. to that poll. But it was also mm -hmm. 10 pounds, which means we've hit 100 pounds raised, so we now get to Let's all go! roll right now for the custom dice shaker. Oh, so shit. I'm going to need everyone to take a picture of this, because obviously well, we love and trust each other here. I'm, but I'm, Well, yeah, digital, you're rolling digital, because so. this is for... I'm we could all roll digital yeah. in above VTT, yeah. actually. And yeah, then there's yeah. no room for error. Uh, yeah. Can I roll? Yeah, I just type exclamation mark R or Yo, slash roll R roll Duke D20. as well. No, because Duke <laughs> no, didn't chose not to play. Smile. <laughs> <No. You're fucked laughs> okay, slash R one D twenty. Oh, you hate to say it with the four. Okay, oh. I rolled. Uh, Dungeon Master 11. So we have a 17, a 4, 11. So our our first time guest joining us, Amanda, yeah, playing Kia, wins the custom dice shaker from Safe in Our World. Woo! The person Exciting. with the most expensive shipping. Yeah, yeah so they want to ship it to, 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 ship it to <laughs> real far, but it's fine. It's worth it. Yeah. Worth it. Uh, so thank you for helping us hit 100. I set, of course, that's not our final goal. I set the goal to raise 250 pounds. Uh, and we still have lots of one shot left, so let's see if we can do yeah. it. So we left off at the break. You had but done some investigating said, of the arcade. A cool one hundo is a very. It is a very, very nice uh, number, yeah. no matter what. Amount of money for a channel this size. So. Hell yeah. Take those. We take those twins. Take the doubles, W's. There we go. Words. That we do. Take words are hard sometimes. You know? Words are hard. Uh -huh. Can two dollar advantage be given for this roll? Uh, I mean, it can. <laughs> for the fucking for, well. Oh, uh, but it's been late the, now. I mean, I mean, if, the, yeah. if you donate two pounds right now, like you have literally like a minute. If you donate right now, you can tell me who you want to give advantage to. It'd be silly if you give it to Amanda because Amanda's winning right now. But if you want to choose yeah. to give it to someone else, I'll allow them to add Man, a roll and we'll yeah. see if it's worked. Yeah. Amanda won. That rolls no, no, it's fair. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's for charity. Because char so, char you might have typed that before right, we rolled. Oh and I my god! Seen shut it. up. <laughs> That, I forgot about that meme. We're not bringing oh, that man. fucking bit back, right? <laughs> What you mean? Clearly, Dutch doesn't hate charity because he signs know. up to do this multiple times. Like, charity. That's why. It's like, it's like Sean <laughs> Freud. He just does, he hates it so much, but he still does it. He's like, got me. No, he does it to sabotage. Oh, yeah, true. Fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
All right. So you are investigating the arcade. You've been sucked into one of the games. There are two games that still seem to be haunted and giving off a magical aura. And you found out some potential history uh, to this arcade itself. And you have a working theory at the moment of maybe why the hauntings are happening. Hmm. This is actually Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. And the incident is the bite of 87. <laughs> Sabotage. So we're gonna find a way to get into that locked room. Well, we should. Hey, probably, hey, like... Shags! I found some gum. If you want, it's been sticking underneath Ew, this table no, for. Don't even. God knows how long. <laughs> I am sure that they they've got to have some standards, right? Right. I'll like, <laughs> oh, no, man, that's gross. But I will like sidle towards the table. Like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. If he eats and chews on it a long time, it might not make him as hungry. <laughs> Ew, I just. Uh... Or I'll kill him forever. It's a win win. Yeah, it's a win win in either set. <laughs> situation also reminder we still have uh three players that can trigger a wild magic surge at any time you just gotta say wild magic yeah. thanks to your donations yeah, i got two of them yeah you do you got two now yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I, I, so. I mean is it worth us going into one of these other arcade machines or uh, it we... I, let's do it and i go over to the mansion Ooh. one the uh well, hey, guys, guys, Manor. Guys, guys. yeah <laughs> yeah before I don't know we... which one it is. I'm just going over to this one and assuming it, it is. All right. Before we do this, man, we had to fight some scary looking dude in that one. Does, does anyone know these games? I mean, kind of know what we're getting into before? Well, I knew what yeah. that one was because I used to be really good at it with my buddies. <laughs> uh, before I get, I'm going to touch it, but before I touch it, I'm going to set my phone up on the stool opposite because <laughs> it's recording the Love entire it. time. All right. And then I touch like, the monitor. Can I can I stand exactly in frames? So you actually can't see what's happening on when they, they touch the monitor. I'm sure. Uh, so as soon as you touch back, like, the casing happening? of a Pepe's banner, a similar you all feel a similar tingling effect, and then that uncomfortable static electricity throughout your body as you all start to pixelate and digitize and glow, and you are sucked into uh, Pepe's manner. Uh, the He's next game. Uh, it was a you, we are yoinked. I as you say. yes, you appear in the corridor of an old, dimly lit manor house. The old wooden floor is warped and rotting, and the yellowing wallpaper is stained such that it appears to be oozing. The corridor appears to stretch infinitely out in front of you, becoming shrouded by darkness. Looking behind you, there is also darkness. Hanging along the left-hand wall are three paintings framed in gold. Mario! With, with, Mario? with darkness all around me, Mario. I just take what looks like the, the guitar pick around my neck and the guitar, and I just start strumming uh, Metallica's That's one, fun. the whole darkness <laughs> imprisoning me. I thought you were like, about to do like hex gold right. or something. I was like, what the hell? Uh, I'm oh. going to lift up my, my mace uh, and... Uh, let its radiant anime glow uh, showjify the <laughs> uh, paintings and so we could see what they are of. All right. Uh, you do your... Uh, bring some light to this place. It has a weird effect in that the hallway doesn't seem to get overall any lighter and the darkness that you can't see that where it ends and where it begins stays and it's rather oppressive, but it does light up like there's more light hitting the paintings. You can see them and they're also, it makes you notice there's a hole in the wall next to one of the paintings. In the first painting, you can see a child uh, like shying away, kind of like point like towards a corner of a wall and kind of like looking like this, like holding their head, looking scared and nervous. And there's multiple shadowy fingers like pointing at them in an accusing manner or like making fun of them or bullying them. And the second painting, there's a child staring up at an arcade machine that towers above them. It does have a familiar name uh, since you looked through those files, uh, which I believe I called it Ooh. Quest for the Lost Kingdom is the name of that arcade mm -hmm. machine. And then you see a close up of them in the third painting of that machine with a game over screen. And the game over screen is cracked and there's a little bit of blood. Oh. Uh, can I go over to the blood and see how fresh it is? 
Sure. As you do that, suddenly the floor starts to shake and break oh, apart, fuck. and the corridor in front of you groans as it tears and separates into a series of wooden platforms, and you're all on the first platform oh, now, we're and there is a dark void below. Let me show you now your map for what you more clearly see. Uh, it's a 2D, 2D platformer. <laughs> yeah, I love why, would, why would there be a painting of the game inside the game man that's weird no well you're not inside that game well no but why would a game <laughs> called pepe's manor have a painting of <laughs> that other game inside you know what i mean that's yeah. it happens all the time same like, developers you know, same guys yeah. it's an easter egg yeah. god fuck easter eggs yeah. i'll have well, you know that last time i lost a D, &D character in another campaign was due to me jumping and fucking up the jump and just walking to my death. So it's gonna be fun. Well <laughs> Oh, I win these. I'm a literal literal bunny man, so you know. Don't I play super bunny Don't mind me, <laughs> chat, as I mess with the settings of the map so you can see the whole map. Zoomed out. There we go. <laughs> and all of our icons are little now. Yeah, they're all little. They're all babies. Little baby icon. Small. Dude, scoop. Didn't make and that it. little hole in the wall, all the paintings are still on your starting platform, and that little hole in the wall, um, while everything's like shattering and the platforms are forming, there's a tiny little glint of light from the hole in the wall. I have a uh, question. Mm -hmm. Is the gap between each one 10 feet? Uh, the, the gap is probably, like, the exact size of it's probably less important in this. Okay. Um... It'll it'll make sense. Like the actual oh, measurement, okay. there's gonna be a bit less physical mechanics and more just certain oh, ability okay. checks and rule of cool depending on what oh, you do okay. and stuff. Like, well, it was because as a as a Terran, I can just naturally jump ten feet if long as yeah. I've got speed. Just can do it. In any they look like they are very easily jumpable distance. Like the platforms, uh, it seems like there's something off about this. Like it doesn't seem all that hard. I'm, I'm at first like, glance. Oh, easy. My my easy. question. My next question is, from where we are to the other side, how far is it? Uh, there are five platforms. Uh, and again, measurement-wise, it's hard to tell because there's this weird oppressive darkness. And the platforms are staying mostly still, but like hovering and almost a little bit of a levitating. And that gentle motion is still enough. It makes it hard when you try and do any sort of like counting out or perception. Okay. Um, uh, I have a question. Even with my dark vision? Can I see, you said I can see light coming out of the hole in the wall. Yes. Which, can I see a piece of floor near that light that is safe? Like, does that light- It's on your platform, your starting platform. It's just like- Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. So oh can we sorry, reach, sorry, sorry. Re reach in and I want to reach into the hole and sure. see what is there. Uh, you reach into the hole and just feel a little- Ow! Like something pinches you. Uh, you take two points of piercing damage. And as you do, you look in the hole, this little golden spider kind of crawls out with little pincers and says, watch where you put those things. I'm sorry, that, that hurt. Ow, you die. Okay, so what, uh, who are you? Well, I mean, this looks like a jumping thing. I'm pretty built for jumping. So I'm just gonna take okay. a step back. I'm just gonna fucking okay. run it. Oh, well, he clearly doesn't care about the talking spider, but I All do, right. man. Uh, <laughs> so the dog, dog. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm a, I'm a as you rabbit. as you go <laughs> to run up to the first platform, as you get close, all of a sudden, like right before you take off, you see the platform a uh, layer of like slick ice quickly like wraps Ooh. around it. Uh, I need you to make an acrobatics or athletics check Ooh, for your jump. Uh... Guidance. Oh, I'll make it athletics. Easy. Uh, guidance as well. Fucking easy peasy, man. Yo, that is a huge dirty 20. Uh, yep. So you make the jump easy. And again, you're like, this is nothing. Like, they're, the distance for you, nothing. As you land, you kind of do like the, oh god, the slippery ice. Make a dexterity saving oh. throw for me. Uh, that's fine. I, I, guidance as well. I, I'm you can't do it on a saving throw. I'll do it on a saving throw. Oh. Guidance is only checks. Yeah, ability checks. Yeah. That is a twenty-three. All right, you dig. Um, your you like you you bend your leaves to lower your center of gravity and dig what do 
bunny do bunny people have like claws or like long bunnies toenails? Have claws. Bunny, yeah, bunnies, bunnies have, have claws. claws. Yeah, dude. so you, you, you like, like dig your claws in like little claws. ice spikes and like bend and squat to lower your center of gravity and steady yourself and yeah. you make it on to the first platform. Oh, sorry. And the ice remains and is now visible. It's slippery as fuck. And then the little spider goes, I could have told you that. When you yell out, it's slippery as fuck. Do I hear that? Is yeah, you all hear it. You could... Yeah. Is there anything I, else I you go can back. tell a spider friend? Yeah, I was gonna well, maybe him. you hadn't tried to squish me in my own house. Yeah. I'm sorry. She didn't You're mean to, You're kind of a man. dick. I'm sorry, hey. Mr. Sp spider. My name is Ember. What's your name? D. D. Bug. D. D. Bug. D -bug. Debug. Oh, D -E -E. D or Misty. Hmm. Anything else you can tell us? I'm trying to use like maybe. What would you like? I got some buffalo wing soda for you, man. If you want some of that. What's that taste like? Buffalo wings, man. I don't know what those are. Chicken wings with some kind of buttery sauce. Does it taste like flies? No. Does it taste better than flies? Oh, why don't you no. try some, man? Uh, roll a persuasion check. Oh, can I do ranger shit? <laughs> I don't know. Can you? <laughs> uh, hold... Uh, yeah, this is where I was hoping I was I could do that. I had a good persuasion. Uh, I didn't fucking pick that. I checked. Ah, uh, I picked speak with animals. Yeah. I, I fucked it. Fucking, I picked, I didn't pick the other cool ability check. Spell. Yay. Yeah, they are what beast oh. bond. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Man, I knew my spells. I'm a fucking loser. Thank man. you. Jesus. Can I make this animal what? hand? I just stand. Fucking loser. Sure. Nice. Nice. I'm way better at those. I'll allow it. Oh, Underused skill animal. I handle. suck at those. <laughs> Shit. Uh, guidance? Hold? Yes. 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 I said guidance. Like Ten. Ten oh. uh, just makes it. So you, you put some Ooh, of the yeah. soda on your hand and like you're sticky and you reach out your hand and D crawls over onto your hand and you see like the pincers kind of like separate and little mouth like like if a spider, the closest thing to like a lick sensation you mm -hmm. feel and it goes too sweet to to something not bug but but i guess that was nice you're the first person to offer me a gift so i'll take it uh, yeah, uh so as you do as she says that uh a bunch of visual markers light up uh in different positions all around these platforms that are series of three letters so you're guessing these are also people's like gamer tags but this time instead of trophies oh. it's showing where they where previous players died or fell how far they got how far they got yeah. where, and where you do the see names? there's a huge cluster of tgk markers on your first platform that you're on there's a handful mm -hmm. on the second there's a few around her um like the hole she was hiding in any, any like, like at the furthest away platform doesn't look like it damn that's foreboding. Are you guys coming over? Because I might just go and, like, jump again. I'll be honest, this is pretty fucking easy. See, what do you think will happen if you fall, man? Do you only have one life? Or do you just get reset back to here? I don't plan on falling. I jump again. I don't think anyone <laughs> don't that falls jump. plans on it, man. Make uh, another acrobatics or athletics check. It's not just. I oh, know. <laughs> Sorry. This is gonna... Uh, acrobatics or athletics, your choice. Oh, I'll make it athletics. Yeah, it's huge. It's twenty. It's a check, and he's still within. So you jump, feet. and again, you right almost, in. you almost feel oh, like I... this is. Too... Oh, I see one now. Why? So in that case, um, Ecto will say you can cast guidance up to the third platform. Okay. We'll say for this rate purpose. Um, so you jump, and again, this almost feels like too easy. This feels like child's play. Perhaps, maybe it's even a child's video game. Uh, like, you make that jump with ease. And you're, like, no waiting ice. for something to happen, like the ice. And, like, nothing happens. 
Oh, but then well, you do I mean, you do suddenly start to feel a bit heavier once you're on the platform. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, um, bug, the de- bug, And the, the the death markers on this platform that light up, you see, are mostly right on the far edge, like not the edge where people would have been jumping onto it, but like the edge where they would have been taking off. Oh, they hmm. jump late. Okay, can I, hmm. can I extrapolate from that that people jump like too late? And they just fall. Like, no, you know? no, because they're heavy. Because they're heavy, so they like, just like. And they don't make it. No, but it's on this first one. It's not on this end one. It's here. So, so like... here I can draw on the map where you see these oh, to make, make it clear. Uh, so you're seeing no, the death markers late. in this case, like they're all like enough. here, like along the edge where you would jump yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do a little like? Can I just jump? Almost, there's the a bunch of death the... markers like here, like here, yeah. here, here. These are all the ones that are TGK, yeah. or yeah. yeah. And then there's a can few, I, like... Uh, can I just do, like, a... I don't want to run. I Whilst I'm standing in the middle of this platform, can I just, like, jump and see, like, what the, like, weight yeah. difference now you is? you jump, and you realize you're definitely not going near as high as you normally do, and it feels mm. like you feel like your muscles suddenly are made of lead. Oh. Uh... I would like to... Like, almost do a... A, like a standing long jump rather than like a full run up as I feel like the run up's gonna fuck me up <laughs> um, and using my like Herogon I can just fucking leap 10 feet long mm-hmm. uh, but using that to like sort of help me like really try and spring up like try and get yeah. some power in this one and just like try and just l- push myself yeah, like those big f- wabbit legs big uh, wabbit I'll legs. say roll another acrobatics or athletics check but with advantage because of Herogon things let's fucking go because since you can bike normally just do a standing... Oh, good. That is so far. not good, dude. <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't use the guidance in the last time. It lasts a minute, so, like... Uh, I mean, it's a 30. Yeah, as long as... yeah I've got a 60 feet foot range. Yeah, he can still hit you on that platform as well. Or she can still hit yeah. you on that platform, so... Yeah, well, that, that's phantom. Well, I got a 6 plus 6, and then plus, plus a 1. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, again, the jump, it almost feels like time slows down because you're nervous because it's the first time you're not confident because you feel that something about you has been like yeah. changed in this moment but you land on the fourth pl- or third wait platform, the third, third platform. platform you're jumping to the third oh, one right now no, my map. Yeah. yeah you land on the third platform and you're like okay i did it also and then as you land on it it starts to um move Ooh. Oh, and God. like it, now it's it's moving in a pattern, oh, like as you are standing on it. Guys, um, it's really heavy. Yeah, you'll be fine, man. Just give us a second. Um, hey, debug, man. Um, when is the last time you saw people here, dude? Uh, a few weeks ago. Really? What were they doing? Jumping. They make it to the end? Some did. Interesting. Do you know um, How did they do that? Yeah, but also this um this guy, and I'll just point at the whatever nearest T G K marker mm-hmm. near. So th- was it this guy? That kid? Uh no, haven't seen them for a while. They were terrible at this game. Really? When when you say while, like if you had to put a number to it, man, like how long ago? Maybe a year. Yep. yep. <laughs> that yeah, incidents and stuff, man. Okay. Um, do people ever cheat at this game, man? No, but I do. That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Right, debug. I get it now. That's clever, man. Um, can I see the like final platform? Yeah. I would like to cast dimension door. <laughs> uh, and I'll I'll like put my hand on. I've got a free ride, man. Any of you want to come with? We'll yeah. say dimen- with. you can dimension door to the penultimate Maybe. platform. You can't get all the way Maybe. to the end, but you can do the second lap, like the ne- the one right before the end. Why not, Gerber? <laughs> Okay. Uh, see it. Or I'm mean, sorry, you can get to platform four. You can get to the one that. Hold on. Pull up. Oh, you can get to this one. You can get to. 
this one with dimension. Oops, that's a rectangle. It's not what I want. Dimension to let me go 500 feet, bro. What the frick? You're in a game world. Yeah. You can get All to right. that um, one with Dimension Door. I was gonna, since they okay. both said me, 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 I was going to eeny, meeny, and since, <laughs> since Kia is close, I like, grab a hold of, of Kia and we both <laughs> bam to the fourth platform. Yay! Okay. Right. And I go, I had Misty Step. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Misty Step will get you to the third platform. Yeah. To which, if we were on the fourth, I probably could have gotten to the end. Sucks to suck, man. <laughs> so are you misty stepping to get to the third platform? Where I will, is? I will use my misty step to get to the third platform. That's my one. All right. Have a, you know, so you and Rex are on platform back. three, and uh, Kia and Shaggy are on platform four. And so again, the platform three, now that it's moving in a steady pattern, um, it is moving or like so sometimes it, 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 sometimes it moves closer to them. Sometimes yeah. it moves further. Uh, can I, is it, uh, like, is it, is a steady pattern? Like it is con like consistent? Make a investigation check. Oh, why? Guidance. I don't win those ones. Just roll good lol. Oh, I did roll really well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's a 22. Right. You notice that it is a predictable pattern, so you will um, be able to time it when it gets, um, like, when the jump is the least distance to the uh, fourth do platform. Do I still feel heavy? No. Then I'm that was a platform and two enchantment. Nice. I'm going to try and time it and, like, good luck, and then just jump. <laughs> run so jump. roll athletics or acrobatics again. I'm... Uh, uh, that's 22. Am I told any of <laughs> you, 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 say, is... you see Rex, like, timing it, and Rex, like, counting, and you get what Rex is doing, and you see that Rex has gauged that there is a pattern to this. Do I recognize the pattern as well? Yes. Uh, I, I'll put okay. it out to you anyways. I'm like, there seems yeah. to be some sort of pattern with this one. We can jump it easy. It's, it's a piece of this. Right. And I'll just what, am, do. what am I rolling for? Uh, athletics or... or acrobatics, your choice. Mm, yeah, 22 on my athletics. Give myself a guidance. Yeah. Oh, but, you are a creature you can uh, see. 23. That range. All right, you both nice. make the jump easily because you waited, you you studied the timing, and you took off at the peak moment. You're now all on platform four. Uh, oh, hey, guys. You also notice as you're on that platform, because once, like... It would have happened when you're on the platform you saw it, but then you get there with your magic, you kind of cheated. And as you as you all teleported, Debug's like, Hey, no fair, I can't even do that, as you all jumped forward. Uh, at the moment, it looks like you're standing on nothing. You look down, and there is no uh, platform there. Invisible floor. Got but it's like you're my still standing, arms again. and you're still on it. Are those still gone, by the way? Are His arms? Still gone? My yeah, arms, your are arms still... are still gone. You still have no arms. Damn. My arms are still gone. But well, I again, they're there. You. you just can't see okay. them. <laughs> Guys, it's so weird. I... I'm going to take a chance on this and use a first level spell and cast Fairy Fire on the platform. Oh, I like it. You get and you can take mm. a point of uh, DM inspiration for that. Yay! I enjoy okay. that. Damn. So yeah, it now starts to glow, and that means now you like it'll help you engaging the next jump because rather than like I have no idea what I'm standing on and knowing where it ends and like blah blah blah, you now have a clear outline of how far the platform you're standing on extends. Clever thinking, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. Um, let's see. It's very Pog Champ of you to. Oh. <laughs> I hated that. I hated that. I just all looking at. I look at Shaggy, who seems to be like like me, seems to have like not got any of this like rough like social media youngster shit they're both talking about. And I'm like. The Twitch lingo. Yeah, the I'm just like, what are they saying? I don't I'm get sorry. it. I'm just nodding go, Slay. Slay. <laughs> That's what we've been doing. All right. I'm, I'm going to jump for the next. Yeah, this looks like a piece of easy. This looks like a real easy jump again. I'm just going to 
Uh, yeah, are we all just fucking jumping? Yeah, all yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody... I can dance. Oh. oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I have guidance as well. So yeah. who are you guiding? <laughs> who who would like guidance? Who is not good with acrobatics? Or oh, athletics? I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Or acrobatic. athletics. I'm pretty athletic. I'm good. I got it, man. Just use it on yourself yeah. or something. I'll yeah, I got this my guidance easily. To myself, then. Okay. Well, then I'll guide myself. Oh, it's pretty easy. That's a twenty-three. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy one, man. 17. <laughs> all right, you all make it across to the fifth platform, except oh. for our friend Shag, Sebastian Hag, oh. who you land just short, and he falls into the dark abyss, and you hear the moan oh. go on for a while, and all of a sudden, oh, you're like, oh, my God. And then as you start to panic, he reappears and respawns back at the starting platform. Oh. You don't take any damage or anything, but you're back at platform See, look, zero. it's fine. <laughs> you're the one who fell and not me. Should have taken your like own you, advice. Man. And then while you're, while you're yelling back at your friend, the platform that the three of you are on starts to rumble. Oh, we gotta um, go. Gotta go. Right. Yep, 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 no jump hesitation. Again. Run and, and, Run and jump, jump again. to the Go next. for it. Yep. Sending it. Okay. Like, uh, that's a natural 20. Nice. Uh, or 26 total. I'm like, just keep 18. On going. 18. All right, Kia. Yep, 21. Mm. Perfect. So you all, Damn. you all make it across, and you now are on the final platform. Um, and you hear almost like a little bit of like a fanfare music, a victory noise as you all get there, and you see um, there is a you lever know, on the far the wall. Hey, what do you guys okay. see, man? Should I come over I there? Pull the dude? lever. As you pull the lever, um, the ice disappears on that one platform. That one platform stands still, and they all start to float together, and they all merge back into one straight corridor. And there's now you're back in the hallway of the creepy house, and there's now a green portal at the end where all of you but Shaggy are standing. Hey, Shags, look, I made it easier for you. Appreciate it, man. I, I debug. Take care of yourself, right? Want some more of that soda before I go, man? Absolutely not. Right. Debug, would you like a little buddy? Sure. I take the panda plushie out and I leave the panda plushie. Aww. Aww. Oh, that's fun. I'm gonna yeah. call you and then as uh, you start to pixelate and fade out as you, you don't get to hear what D is going to call the panda and uh, Ecto you G can have a, a second point of inspiration because that was real cute Aww. <laughs> the bard has all the inspiration <laughs> yeah because you give inspiration to others so you have your own for yourself yeah. <laughs> so you are back in the arcade and now another machine uh, is no longer glowing only one machine is glowing with a magical aura. Any changes okay. at all, like at the door or? Nope. I mean, we didn't even like properly check it. Can I, uh, did you say that like the keypad, was it like numbers and letters? Just numbers. Like, uh, just numbers? Oh, I'm just gonna try one, 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 one. Nothing happens, right, just nice. blinks one, one, wrong. One, two. Blinks wrong. Is it, a four, is it a four digit code though? Yes. So, like, in theory, we could spend the next, like, what, 100 hours here just fucking <laughs> going no. for it. Hey, wait, is there a zero <laughs> as well? well yes. Good, but... Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Hang <Yeah>. on. <laughs> we'll, play, we'll play just, like, this, this... Play a large montage of us just going... <laughs> wait, you do a random number. 6969. 69. It's the funniest number out there. That's a funny zero, number. 0420. Nothing. Just spell 8008, man. Nothing. 8008. Oh, we should probably not do it. It might lock us out. <laughs> All right, so oh, yeah. hold on, guys. So we learned that this, well, top scorer in that fighting game sucked at the jumping game, but also that they kind of stopped showing up about a year ago, which kind of lines up with the other stuff we've learned, man. I think the kid might have fucking died. He sucked at the jumping game just like you did. Oh my god, are you the kid? Uh, also, you'll Ouch. notice, um, Ember, your phone is where you left it, and it did stay recording, so you have video footage of you guys going in and out of the machine. Ooh. Yes. 
No, uh, nice. actually, they only have video footage of us. Oh, no, yes, I guess. Did you see oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold There's on. There's the Ember Game That's very funny. Just I am having a Jimmy Neutron brain blast moment. <laughs> you can't be too serious. Going that's cheating. Think, think. think. Uh, it's pit Winnie the Pooh. My... It's a three. Let me get in my cell class. Um, what's, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Because of my um, Horizon Walker magic, because I'm the oh. uh, Horizon Walker Ranger, so it looks fucking cool. Mm -hmm. um, I can detect portals, uh, and I would like to stand by the door that is padlocked. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it basically the way it works is, once per short rest, I can detect the distance and direction to the closest portal within a mile of me. So that knowing that, I'm going to just stand back against the door, so making sure that I'm as far away as the arcade machines as possible, yep. just in case yep. they spot me over, to see if I detect a portal through this door. All right, you do your thing. You wait for any of the result you're hoping, you that it's not going to be the thing that you think it is. But sure enough, the, the last remaining Dream Mummy arcade machine uh, lights up as the closest portal to you. Okay. Shit, man. So it's the one in this room already. Yeah. So it's, there's nothing behind the door that fucking jumps at me. Hmm, that sucks, man. So, so, uh, oh. so real quick question. Mm -hmm. Are these other plushies on the table over here? Next to where the hot dogs were? Uh, let me tell ya. Uh, no. Oh, actually, I guess the map shows there are. Yeah, there's some plushies there. One of them... I one of them, uh, again, it's a trademarked character, but that's what it looks like to me. One of them looks like, a, a, or one of them looks like a rip-off budget version to avoid copyright problems of a sand shrew. Uh, and the other one is a, uh, the other one looks like a hedgehog, but not the blue kind that goes fast. It's just a regular hedgehog. I'd take both of them. Sure. It's, it's the red card. Hedgehog. hedgehog and rip-off Sandshrew. Sorry, dude. I just... just Arcade game bangers playing in my head right now. Um, so there's only one more weird game left, right? Correct. Yeah, and then we gotta try and... Hopefully that might open up this room. I don't see how. Yeah, there are keys somewhere. With the magic of friendship, okay? Let's just do it. <laughs> We're acquaintances. Hey, Dash is nice. Workplace acquaintances at best. No, I think we're friends, man. Sure. We play video games together, and that is Amen. what friendship means. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> But technically, we <laughs> play video games <laughs> together, man. Right. Because you said, um, remind me, once we zooped out of a game uh, arcade uh, machine, it just depowered and just yes. like, super mundane. Now, right? Correct. High school thing. This one does not have a high score. It just shows you, it, like, if you look at it, it's just showing you um, flashes of different characters. Oh, do I see debug? No. These are all humanoid characters. And it's spelled, um, so it's the game's called Dream Mummy. Mummy is spelled M-U-M-M-Y. Oh, we're talking about the other. Okay. Oh, oh, you look at the game I, you just uh, left. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That one, yeah, that one also shows high scores. Uh, there is oh. no, and there's that, those initials are not on it. The T G K. Yo, but can I put fucking sucked. Rex in there, though? I'm not, I, I'm I get over there as quick as I can. Okay. Put... I, yeah. Yeah, this time there's a PIE top score there. Yeah, I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> My high score could be the best. I could be, oh, yo, no. Rex of the Arcade. So it's, it's, this last game is called Dream Mummy, as in, like, yeah. you know, as dead in, guy like, rats Egypt. in. Yeah. yeah. No, as in, like, Dream British Mummy. Yeah, British Mummy. Is it British a mummy. mummy dating sim game, guys? Let's play Charette. <laughs> we about a romance. We have a bard. Saying, <laughs> some of Philip's stereotype. I tell him, just saying. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get what you're meaning. It's time to romance the mummy. Really I tell <laughs> I don't. I don't understand which, why. Because it's, it's, I don't know, it's what do, if right it's now. a dating sim, then that's what you do, and you don't yeah. question it. If it's, yeah, you don't you know. question it. Dream daddy, dream mummy. Dream I'm just daddy. saying. 
I I, guess I, I make sure I'm on um, my phone is anyway. set up recording on the opposite side so that it captures anything. Yep. Goth dead best dad. Anyway. <laughs> so you you go over to the final arcade machine that seems to be awake with arcane energy. Yeah. Isn't and... it the play button? Like can I just press the button to play instead of them like fucking oh we're actually there. Oh I'm gonna fucking take it. I'm gonna... Play there's the there's the, there's the slots for That's copper it. pieces to go. Oh, in there. I'll put a gold piece oh. in it. Yeah, there I you go. I'll put a gold piece so as you do, um, the the front screen lights up and says "new game." And as you do, you feel the electric energy pull you from the corporeal world into the arcade machine, as you're now familiar with. Not very comfortable. You open your eyes to see a picturesque street with three identical houses. A disembodied voice announces. Welcome to Sarcophagus Street. You've just moved in, and your neighbors are dying to meet it you. It is a fucking dating show. Select a mummy to visit and put on the charm. Respond to their questions with enough charisma, and you'll win their affections. Fail to impress, and well, let's just say you may be joining them in the afterlife. Who would you like to visit? And three pictures pop up, uh, one in front of each house. So I'll give you your <laughs> options now. So this is oh, uh, mummy number one. Oh, I gotta zoom out because it's way zoomed in. And does it still look good on? I'm gonna make it a bit bigger on the stream. Uh, oh, oh she's, oh, she's cute. Good. Got like the mummified pigtail thing going on. That's yeah. kind of cute. That's kind of cute. So that is your option number one. Uh, house mm. number two. Uh, you get this one. I only did it on mine for a minute. Had to click play Yo. as well. It's hot. It's house number two. Oh, <laughs> hold up. And then hold house up. number three has this image in front of it, or this person. Two. That first one's so kind of cute. So one, dude. one, two, or three. Oh. Oh, nice. Echo hearings. I didn't see what number one. Number one, I'll show you again. Looks like because you missed Thank it. You. Number one looks like this. Aw. She's got like a little, little nerd vibe going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's, we that's go for number cute. two, right? We go for number two, right? I don't know, maybe we should leave it to the audience to decide. <laughs> chat, chat oh preference? Mummy chat. one, two, or three? <laughs> Mummy, all three at the same time, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, the what? first person oh, in chat said that? number oh. one. <laughs> We're going for the cute, nerdy one. All right. Number, number two fits Ember's aesthetic. If we're putting this in Ember's ball court. That, that is true. Ember is the bard. So I mean, you don't all have to pick the same one. Oh, shit. Okay. That's true. Shit, Who wants to go? That Someone's going to have to double up because there's three houses and four of us. And that's because I wait outside. What? I go to the second house. I'll okay. Go to the third house. Yeah. So, first house. okay, we'll start with um, my PDF house number two is first. So, whoever is going to visit, uh, as they've been dubbed Hot Mummy, gets to go first, which is this one. <laughs> hot Mummy? Hot Mummy. This one is Hot Mummy. So, that's uh, Ember and anyone else? Yep. Just Ember. Just Ember? Okay. Just Ember. Uh, so, Ember, you see uh, them leaning against the, the front door. I'm just going to... Sup? As you walk over. So you're the Sup. new neighbor. That's cool. Our old neighbor was a ghost and such a drag. Oh, wait, are you a ghost? I don't know. Aren't we all ghosts eventually? That's kind of cool. I'm Ember. Roll a... Uh straight charisma check. That's what, uh... D20 plus my charisma? Yes. Can I do guidance on myself? Sure. Okay, great. Where's my D4 go? Oh, there it is. On the top medicine, that's where the D4 went. Uh, that is going to be a 23. Alright. Um, so you said it goes... Wow, that's like really deep, and you're like alive. Oh. That's that's hot. That's hot. Oh god. I love your outfit. Is that Thanks. is that your skin? Could I like try it on? No. Uh, roll another charisma check.
That's good. But 11, 15, 17. All right. You know, setting boundaries. I respect it. That's fair. So there's this rad tomb downtown where all the hot people go to dance and perform ritual sacrifice. Would you ever want to go there with me? Maybe hit a rave like sometime? Sounds fun. Do they allow others to do their own music? And I just sling my guitar around. Roll a persuasion check. Ooh. <laughs> It's not 24. Hell yeah. It's like, they do have some open, open mic nights, and you you would totally fit the vibe. So I think you should absolutely play there. That sounds like a good time. I'm going to have to look into that. So do you live in that house over there? And there's one empty house on the street that didn't have a picture, and he gestures, or they gesture to it. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. The guy who used to live at your place was so loud. He'd wail so loud, it would, like, wake the dead. You're not super loud at night, right? At least, not when you don't want to be. <laughs> Only if I'm rocking the house. Uh, another charisma check. Ember's in there, bro. <laughs> that is a 23. Damn. For plus four to charisma, I'm rolling my guidance because I can cast it on myself. That sounds cool. As long as you don't get in the way of my beauty sleep, then we'll be fine. So... No, no, no. I can go acoustic if need be. So, is this a date then? Are we going to go to the rave? I get to watch you perform? Hell yeah. Your final charisma check for me. Thirty twenty. Okay. Um, as you say that, uh, hot mummy goes sick, and then uh, tends to like freeze in place, and you hear a good that, that, that voice from before. Good job, you won the heart of the hottest mummy in town, and you've lived to see another day. Would you like to visit another mummy? And then we cut to whoever went to see the nerdy the nerdy mummy, as her name oh, is, in her house. <laughs> uh, so now we're on to this lovely lady. Over here. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's uh Shaggy and was there one more person or no? The, the other two of you went to the other was, one. No, because Rex is oh, just no, I, just... I I didn't go to any house. I oh, Rex didn't go anyone. Yeah. So it's one for each. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, oh, you're the new neighbor. N nice to to eat you. I mean, meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I just make a really bad first impression? Oh my god, you like eating things too, man? That's so cool. Yeah, I I really like, I mean, eating other people. And I just, I get nervous around cute new people. Um, So, have you ever played, uh, there's this game called Hounds and Jackals. It's a two-player game on a board with all these, like, 29 holes. One player takes five jackal head tokens, and one player takes five dog head tokens. And I'm sorry, I'm... I'm rambling and talking a lot. I'm being really weird, aren't I? You are waffling a little bit, man, but it's cool. I can work with it. I do like playing board games, dude, but only if you bring snacks. Roll a charisma check. I suck How far away is he from me? You're in uh, different houses. You can't see each other. Next next house okay. over, man. Yeah. Uh, Just straight charisma? Yep. A fucking nine. Okay. Nine. Um, That's German for her. So they, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I, I, I guess I could bring some snacks. Thanks for being so nice, I guess. You're not like the last neighbor. What about him, man? Well, the guy who used to live at your place was super mean. He told me I wasn't a real gamer because I like board games and tabletop games instead of video games. <gasps> Do you think that makes me a fake gamer? Hell no, man. You know... Board games came first, man. You gotta respect your classics, dude. Roll a persuasion or straight charisma if it matters. <laughs> if you have a it bonus doesn't. to persuasion, then... <laughs> okay, okay. 18, 18. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring That's it back. back. Yeah. She goes, I don't know why, but I, I just really trust your opinion for some reason. So I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know what? 
since you seem, you seem fairly wise, do you ever feel like life is a simulation and we're all just cogs in a machine? And her voice kind of drops and she just like gets this vacant stare for a minute. <laughs> Uh, how do you mention that, man? Because you kind of are, dude. It's in a weird way, we all kind of are right now. Like, you know, I don't know, dude. That's really, like, hypothetical and shit, man. And I need at least a few hits before I can get into topics like this, man. Roll a persuasion check. And I'll start rolling the fucking blunt, like, <laughs> fucking, the fucking pouch out of my pocket and start rolling one. <laughs> Holy Christ, oh gosh. <laughs> Always come prepared. Oh, if you need any paper. Twelve, okay. Um, she, like, oh. blinks back to it and kind of sinks back into character. I, I just get a little introspective at times. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like that. There's nothing wrong with that, man. You gotta, if this is, you're a free, free-thinking spirit and all of that shit, man, and I can respect that, dude. Bro. Well, does that mean you would maybe want to come over and play a game sometime? As friends, or, you know, I don't, I don't know, maybe, like, a date? Yeah, we can do that, man. I have a dog. Want to meet my dog, man? Uh, roll dog, man? a persuasion check with disadvantage. Oh, she doesn't like dogs? Damn. <clears throat> Egyptian mummies, cats. Oh, fuck, you're right, shit. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't matter. It was a 16 or 17, so still an 18, even though it's a disadvantage. We're good. I mean, I'm more of a cat person, but as long as your dog's, Ooh. you know, well-trained and doesn't chew on my bandages or anything, then sure, you can bring him. Well, I mean, it's your house, man. If you say no, then I'll leave him at home. It's all good. I figured I'd offer. And then as you say that, she freezes, and you hear that same voice. Good job! You won the heart of the nerdiest <laughs> mummy in town and live to see another day. Visit another mummy. And now we cut to our third and final house uh, oh with God, Kia. This is, gonna be some, this is gonna be an experience. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know why like, my, my half my screen is like this, but yeah. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. Can I just, like, cut off? Oh, on the stream? Hey, hi. Yeah. Oh, on stream, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. very odd. Hold hi. on. Hold on. Uh, nope, it's nothing. Oh, I know Echo. why. Hold on. It's because I did the... I'm so sorry. It's because I zoomed in. I changed more of the thing to see the bigger pictures of the mummies on above VTT. Mm. And it went past but Whoa. under the overlay. And it was like Yay, cutting you off. I'm so go. sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry. I fixed it. All right. Ooh. So you go and this mummy is waiting for you in front of her house. Um, as you walk over, it goes... Hey there, hot stuff. You must be the new neighbor. Oh. I'm cool, oh, she... mummy, but you can call me whatever you like. Did you come around to borrow a cup she's of sugar, mummy. maybe? Oh, well, I mean, I I do like cooking sweet stuff. If you have some to spare for me, the, that would be really great. Uh, roll a charisma check. These are nothing okay. like my anime body pillows at home. <laughs> Yeah, and nothing like my anime body pillows. I don't know how I need to, but uh, but I've trained for this. I've done many <laughs> a dating, many a dating, dating sim. simulators. I've talked to many women right. on my video games. <laughs> all right. Uh, ah. All right. That's a twenty-one. Oh Maybe no! I should have called you. A, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Maybe, Maybe I should have called you sweet stuff instead of hot stuff. Say, did the kid who used to live at your place leave, leave anything weird lying around? He was so seriously uncool. Oh, um, uh, nothing I can think of. Is there something I should watch out for? They weren't, like, dangerous, were they? Roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. 19. Oh, shit. I mean, they were just a teenager, so I wouldn't say they were dangerous. Definitely were going down a darker path, though. You seem a lot cooler than them anyway. So, what do you like to do for fun? I'm personally really into wrestling. Oh, shit. All sorts of promotions. Yeah. WWE, AEW, New Japan. I like them all. 
<gasps> you do you do promotions for New Japan and um I I think that uh yes because there's a lot of uh, I'm not going to get into like uh silly like wrestling minutiae about <laughs> uh about Japan's um pro wrestling scene but I think my character would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead and go ahead and roll a charisma check as you uh yeah. Spout some knowledge about the New Japan Pro Wrestling world. Yes. Uh, 15. It's not 15. quite anime, so it's like... Oh, actually, yeah, I'll roll Guidance for myself, too. Hold on. Guidance. Uh, and, uh, two. So it's 17 total. Yep. You know, I feel like... It's fine if you're not as into wrestling as me. It's fine. Your other hobbies seem interesting, though. You have, a, you have a cool vibe going on. I, I love the antlers, too. It's a very bold choice. Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh, thank you. They're they're new, actually. <laughs> oh, well, they're a sleigh. You should keep them. What, what is a baddie like you doing on the street as lame as ours anyway? Oh, you know, I was just... It's, um... Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just passing through for right now, but unless I have some reason to stay... Uh, roll up another charisma check or persuasion check. Persuasion, yeah, I'll take persuasion. That's a dirty 20. Was, oh, I can give you a reason to stay, babe. That's not a problem. Let's cut to the chase. You're hot, I'm cool. We should totally date. Okay, sounds good. Roll your final charisma check. All right, is just flat charisma? Yes. Okay. I, where's my guidance? Roll, roll, baby. All right, 16. All right, as you say that, you also hear your final message of, good job, you won the heart of the coolest mummy in town and live to see another day and then now that you've all finished romancing your mummies and secured your first date, a pink portal opens up in all the houses that you're in. And Rex, a pink portal just opens on the street where you are outside. Yay! Nice. No, it didn't. Any chance that there's a portal by the house that's empty? No. Like our house, I guess? No. Yeah. So is that, and whilst they were doing it, can I go into our house? What's that, what's that uh, you could. I'll let. Yeah, maybe here you can have a few minutes yeah. in there while they're yeah. while they're flirting. Yeah. Do I see, yeah, yeah, I get I picked up. So uh, you yeah, go in. It looks before. like a a like a cutesy, colorful, cozy house. Just think, you know, all the dating sims you've been to. It doesn't seem like there's nothing in it that screams really super like nerdy or gamer or teenager. Just like well decorated cozy. It does look a bit devoid of any personality to it, a little bit. No, yeah, that's yeah, so I'll just have a look around and see if there's any if there was anything at all. Uh so, roll an investigation check. It's a huge three. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You see uh, a house. You test uh just because think of your friend before you go check out the fridge in the kitchen being like, Oh maybe I can bring my friend some snacks, but no, it's empty unfortunately. It's like there for decoration, oh, nothing. I'm in getting it. kinda hungry. <laughs> I wanna right. see if arcade food tasted different. So you all do you go through those pink portals? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you're all yeah. thrust back into the press pause arcade and the electrical energy around you and around the arcade machines dissipates. You have barely a moment to try and get your bearings and think about what you learned when you hear an echoing yell. No! Suddenly, a ghost appears in the middle of the room, arms outstretched as the debris around the room begins swirling in a cold wind. You can't take my high scores! And a teenage ghost appears in front of you that looks like this. Oh, he's a fucking loser! <laughs> God oh my damn God, he is nerd. A loser. Okay. Uh, he's, hold on. He's a bit cut off on my stream. I fix. There we go. Now they can see. All that. Right. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just gonna type uh, K I A into the uh, high score of the uh, last machine we brought. Yeah. That one doesn't have scores. The dating oh, sim. You just oh, get it. to. 
So either you got, you, you either got it in or But you, you got scores on the other two <laughs> games that have topped this okay. one. Um, and as he, so he appears and sends that yell, and then in that swirling cloud of debris, you see him pull a few things out of the debris and like, like almost like fling them at you. And we're gonna roll initiative. And you see of the debris, Ooh, he flings yeah. at you and it becomes animated with this spectral aura. There is a floating basketball some old, uh, like, ha uh, very rotten by now that were half full, like, melted but now gross. Some haunted slushies rise up from behind the snack counter. Now wait a minute. Now and wait then a minute. four air hockey pucks rise up off the air hockey table. You might see the, like, the Scooby-Doo jaw gets unhinged, hits the ground, <laughs> falls straight into your mouth. Yeah. So we're gonna go back to the arcade map. Just get stuck on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> This is your host. TGK, mate. Also, you can put your characters where they would be, like, after that game. They can say where they are. If you think they'd be somewhere else, then go ahead and... Oh, no, I got fucking pooped out of the arcade machine last year. I guess we're, we're, like, somewhere here. Where, where was the, uh, machine? Uh, it would be this middle one. The bottom middle on those two rows is the last machine you were at. Yeah, so we're, like, here. Okay. I would be here, having have gotten my phone. Bro. Yeah. And, and now I'm standing there just like, whoa! <laughs> All right. Uh... You, have, you have to do a new, new intro every time because it's not one going to be one stage against the episode. I was like, okay, guys, what's up? <laughs> We're here again. This haunted ass arcade. Well, well leaving, I'm leaving it out, so it's recording. Right, so, while, uh, yeah. Right. It's, yeah, it's for your life. All right. Um, what did you all it's get for post. your initiatives? <clears throat> Nine, 11. you said? Yep. Kia, okay. Uh, eight, eight. You're digitally rolling, so you're fine. Um, Ember and Rex, what did you get? Eight. Uh, eight. I got a massive six, but it is a natural one. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Let me now roll for these bad guys. Classic, classic thing you want to be when you're a barbarian is going last in the initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can take a full round of damage before you can rage. It's super good. Yeah. Uh, why are we like whoa, whoa, whoa. this game? It's happened again. Uh, I literally downloaded them before, and now the stat blocks are gone. Like why are we thing. like this? What the actual fuck? Right here. Stat blocks. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay, um... So for this one, okay, they're all gonna have the same, anything that's the same type is gonna have the same initiative order to make this faster. And now we need to throw the basketball. And then for the air hockey pucks. Cool. Nice. Okay, so first up uh, is the are the uh, the haunted slushies. <laughs> so we'll have uh, this one go first. Oh, I thought Sebastian was first. What'd you roll? It says this fashion only rolled an 11. Oh. Did it not it update? On no, it no, I rolled 11. Oh, 11. Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. okay, so the slushies be first. Yeah. I'm still 17 in that world of some reason. Yeah, so. Five. Oh, five, ten, so how do you see it? Five, ten. What's there? Uh, oh, actually, wait, they don't need to do that. They have ranged spell attacks, lol. Um, hey. What so the they are going to, like, the lid of the slushy cup opens, and ice cold and fairly moldy, gross, like, slushy uh, splashes out. It's going to do one at Ember and one at Shaggy. So this Most is for... The first slushy goes for Ember, uh, and that's an 18 to hit. No, that's hits, yeah, definitely. 
We got a 12 AC, so. Uh, and you take 15 points of cold damage. Ooh. And your speed is reduced by half for the next turn. Uh, and then the other one goes for Shaggy. Uh, that, it's, it rolled a seven to hit. No. All right. Next, we have our air hockey pucks. Uh, what's their movement? It has 10 foot reach. And they're all hovering, so they can go there. So, one goes here. One goes here. And the hockey pucks are coming for Kia and Ember. So, the one that go So, these two are. Oh! On Ember, that's a natural 20. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm probably going to be down, so... No way. I'm already at 12 hit points. Okay, that's me. Yeah, okay. That, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Level yeah, four. Yeah. Level four. four. Oh, I rolled so high on the damage. Um, yep, okay, Ember, down. that, or not Ember, Kia, sorry. Kia, that is 17 points of bludgeoning oh damage. Wait, wait, how much, what, what you rolled to hit me? I rolled natural 20. Not Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, you said, okay, sorry. I thought you said, oh, you said, you said it me. Ember. Yeah, yeah, you, you said, said Ember. Ember oh, I meant Kia. I'm so sorry. I meant okay. Kia. I'm looking at the puck that's across from you. So, uh, 17 points okay. for you. Uh, and then the one that is going for Ember. Almost a six, but then it rolled a natural 14 plus three, 17. Yeah, it's going to hit. I rolled lower. Uh, that's ten points of damage. Yeah, Oof. I'm 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 in trouble. Uh oh. Oof. And the other two are gonna start going this way. Uh, Shaggy, you're up. Hey. Um. Okay. Um. I will use my planar warrior. Uh, actually, no. I'm, well, uh, yes, I'm lying. I'm going to use my second favored uh, foe, favorite enemy, favorite enemy of the day. Uh, it's a bonus action Hunter's Mark without expending spell slots. I'm just going to Hunter's Mark the basically the, the, the floating cup near the stools, like the, the topmost. The topmost one? Okay. See. I'll add a thing so I can tell that. It's Hunter's Mark, and I'm just going to shoot my bow at it, I guess. There, now it has a symbol that will uh, tell that's me a 23 that. to hit that cup. Oh, uh, that definitely hits. Cool. So that is six plus the hunter's mark. Uh, seven points of damage. Piercing. Okay. Uh... Okay. That'll be my turn, man. Uh, Pierce. Okay, cool. Um, next we have uh, Kia. And by the way, chat, don't forget, you can donate for only two pounds. You can give them advantage on rolls if you want to help them in this combat. Or disadvantage if you want them to TPK. Up to you. Hey, man. <laughs> and they can put the initials TPK Hi. instead of TGK on the <laughs> arcade machine. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, so Kia is going to, um, let's see, going to, uh, run, o go over here, and cure wounds. Um, oh, look at that. that. There you go, Ember. Yeah. You're not out. 17. <laughs> 17 heals. Ooh, buff. Chonky. There you go. Anything else? Any bonus actions? Jolly cooperation. Thank bonus you. Bonus actions, sure. Um, I have those with this class. You yes, do. I do. I'm so happy. Uh, let's see. What are my bonus actions? Let's see. Oh, I could channel divinity. Okay. So, um, I can. Oh, I'm gonna lay on hands myself and give me my and give me some healing. Well, there you go because yeah okay so i'm gonna give myself 10 points of heals all right and that's my turn 
Nice. Ember, it's your turn. And you're not down. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, I would like to get so that I'm... Uh, and don't forget, there's also players with wild magic surges yep. available. Mm -hmm. I want to be where I can be 15 feet, but not get so Kia. Uh, 15 feet, like to get Pucks, but not Kia? Yes. Uh, like, where would I, like, in here the be square. good enough? Anywhere around here, around this end of the air hockey table. Okay. Would that, would that do a an attack of opportunity on them? No. Okay, they good. don't have reactions. Then, okay. okay. Uh, then I'm going to be 15 feet so that Kia is not affected and cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. Nice. Uh, do they roll saves? Constitu yes, Constitution save of 14. Constitution save, you say. Okay. Um, the first one, oh, <laughs> rolls a natural 20. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, the other one rolled a 7. So one of them okay. fails. So we'll say the, the is... blue one, the one with the blue ring, fails. Okay. It is 2d8, because I'm casting it at first level, if I can find a d8. That's the percentile die. Do I not have a d8? No, I do have a d8. <laughs> it's 2d8, so the one that failed is going to take half damage. That's an 8. That's two eights. It's 16. Nice. So, so the one, one of them that, takes 16. One takes 16 damage and gets pushed 10 feet away. Okay. And there's this huge boom that is hurt as well. And the other one takes 8 damage. Okay. Gotcha. Sweet. Oh, you flung into the arcade machine. Kabink. Yeah. Anything else for your, your turn? Uh, that's all I think I can do. But I, I swing the guitar around and just start playing. Um, you don't want to do, a, do you have any caramel. bonus actions you want to do? I don't, I don't know if I have any bonus Bardic actions. Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action. That's oh, a yeah. It is. That is a pretty big one. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Well, then I start playing a metal version of Caramel Dancing. Oh, and give, uh, <laughs> I, I, I give Rex Bardic Inspiration. Hey, look, what it's Rex's it? turn. So what a perfect is it, timing. Is it a D4, uh, D6? What is it? One D6. D6. 1d6. Let's go. Cool. Rex, you're that, up. Uh, the fucking main ghost boy, like, disappeared, right? Yes. Like, he disappeared fucking... and has left the debris to attack. Cool. He appeared. You saw him. He yeah. summoned all these things and made them animate and, and fly, that. and then he disappeared again. He disappeared uh, into the immortal combat machine. Oh, he disappeared into the machine. That ghost machine machine makes me angry. Uh... I would like to rage. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this time, uh, mm -hmm. you see like instead of like my like the eyes still go red, but like these big claws come out instead from like my hands. Like they just become these massive razor claws. And I'm just gonna go up like I see goes to the machine. I'm like, time to get out the machine. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like stab it uh, with the claws. So with the, so I'm just going to try and attack this arcade machine. You're gonna try to attack the arcade machine. Yeah. I want okay. him out of there. I want um, him out. As you attack the arcade machine, you have a fam you guys all see a familiar effect start to take over oh, Rex's no. body, and Rex, you're sucked back in to the Immortal Combat Machine. So you disappear from the press pause arcade to the view of all your mm -hmm. friends. What do I see when I get back? Uh, in we're gonna swing. have to go back and forth between two maps Sorry. here, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if we go back to the Immortal Combat map, um, so the the guy in the gi before the combatant, mm -hmm. his generic mm -hmm. name, uh, is no longer there. Uh, instead, you do see um, the ghost in the center. Oh, I don't think I made. No, I did make a token for him. Hell yeah, I did. Yeah, you guys not here. We'll put all of you out on the mm -hmm. edge there. Uh, mm -hmm. He's now replaced. He's in the center of the screen where the combatant is. And imagine, like, the biggest teenage meltdown you have ever seen. 
Like, you've ever seen a teenager raging at, like, Call of Duty and their, like, parents have to come in and, like, confiscate their video games? That is what this child is doing right he's now in the middle of this ring. He's, he's saying some really inappropriate stuff. Mm. And, yeah, like, and like screaming mm. and wailing. But okay. and the Holy screams have a much more spectral game. quality to them. Uh, the screams take on... Like a much more horror. That's the one part that isn't very like oh, this is some like teenage punk. The screams sound absolutely chilling, horrific, and oh. horrifying. Aunt mommy did mention that the guy fucking screamed a lot. Like, yeah, wow, and I'll waiting. say, uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, wisdom saving throw, and we'll add him to the initiative order. Well, that here. is a dirty twenty. A dirty twenty. All right. Yeah. Um. Hold on, add him to our combat tracker here. He won't come into the next round, though. Okay. Uh, as this whale, this, like, absolutely shrieking whale, which, again, at first, it's, like, a teenager having a tantrum, but then the whale takes on this more mournful and just super sorrowful tone, and in the minute, at first, you feel, you start to feel, te like, terror, and you are like your first instinct is to cover your ears run away and like shake but then the the sorrow in the whale kind of like ends up uh, registering with your brain more and resonating and overrides the terror and you have a moment of just thinking wow this this kid must be going through something to emit this noise like like even like you guys you're paranormal investigators you've seen lots of ghosts the mournful whales are not uncommon but usually there are a lot more like um like this this is a level of uh emotion that you have not heard in your time with paranormal investigators and exterminators with the pie squad uh, this is a very high level of uh like fear and depression and anxiety is all underlying this whale that uh, is let out in this we'll say your mode. bonus action would be or no your action was to attack the machine so you have a bonus yeah. action well my bonus action was raging oh your bonus um, action was raging so then but uh as part of the attack action with the claws i get two attacks oh okay oh shit so you go ahead and attack it like, again if you want i would like to like in this moment of a form of rage or anger from this kid like rex recognizes that within himself and in this moment like i go to attack like you annoying little punk but i would like to like just reach out on these clawed hands uh instead and just be like come on man we all lose at video games sometimes but it can't be this bad the wailing stops and he looks at your outstretched hand in confusion and shock like you realize he doesn't recognize this gesture like no one's ever like and then it's like has no one ever like reached out a helping hand to this kid and you're like oh my god i don't think I, literally no one ever has um and it's it make the wailing stops and he just like takes a moment to look at you as this confusion registers across his face and we will then cut back to the arcade uh, to your friends who are still fighting all these haunted objects and it's now the haunted basketball's term basketball <laughs> uh what's its movement 30 it can yo get does here. it does it bounce over when it moves or is it just yeah, like, like it moves they're all like hovering no it doesn't it, it just hovers and it comes right for you but if it, it hovers over an ikea and goes up like above her rather than going straight for her oh, like comes. then comes up like it's trying to like dunk like do a dunk oh before God, it hits kia um yeah, and that is a 16 to hit sorry must be 18 or over to hit this <laughs> <laughs> that's so good misses all right, we're back to the top of the round. Um, see, now it shows, yeah, like, all of a sudden, Shaggy's back at the top of 17, but you had 11 before. It changed your yeah. initiative order. Straight. Wrong. It's the slushies. Turn. Uh -oh. Whoops. Yeah. All right. Uh, so slushy number one is going to, again, just try and throw some more cold liquid um, yeah. one at Rex and one at Scoob. 
Because your doggo's Wait, still Rex there. Is not, Rex is not there. Or not Rex. One at Shaggy and one at Scoop. I'm sorry, my brain. Dude, what the fuck the dog do? The dog's there. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the dog and you were the ones the that eating existed. the snack bar. So, um, the slushy for Scoob is a dirty 20 to hit. The slushy for right. Rex, or for Shaggy, why am I doing that? Is uh, only a 10 to hit. All right, so Scoob's dead. <laughs> For this sake, Scoob doesn't die. Scoob just gets like, he is like shaking on the ground, <laughs> shivering from the cold slushy, and he's like immobilized. He's like frozen in five, place from the slushy. HP, he's not dead. He's just, he's incapacitated. He's like a Pokemon. He has okay, fainted okay, okay, from okay, the okay, slushy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> We're not killing dogs in this one shot. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now it's all the air hockey pucks turn. Um... This one's too far away from anyone, so it's gonna get close, but then can't get you. And then one for Ember Loser. and two for Kia. Okay. So the oh. one, uh, yeah, the one that's attacking Ember, only a six to hit. Misses. Boom. <clears throat> and then the two <clears throat> that come <clears throat> for Kia. I rolled a 10 on both dice, which is a total of 13. All right. Well, congratulations, misses and misses. Hell uh, yeah. Puck. <laughs> they try and do a spectral slap shot and they just whiff. They whiff real hard. Uh, next is Shaggy. As your dog is on the ground shaking and whining next to you. Very sad. <laughs> I'm casting Cure Wounds on the dog and instructing him to hide in a corner. <laughs> He'll go run behind a, in the corner behind the arcade machine. Uh, yeah, so that's my, I mean, that's my action. But that's, my, that's, my fucking, that's my fucking dog, dude. All right, uh, next we jump back uh, to the world of Immortal. Unless there's any movement or anything you want to do? Well, I'm sending him to, like, fucking chill all over there. Yeah. Is there anywhere you yeah, want to go? Both. Uh, kind of backing up as well, like a wee bitch. Mm -hmm. oh. Since hey guys. Go. Yeah, I am really sorry. Um, I actually made a, a scheduling mistake when I uh, signed up for here, All so fine. I'm being called away. But uh, it's been really fun playing with you guys. I'm it's so sorry good. that I have to duck out. In the it's final fine. You were already covering for it. someone else who had to bail. So we appreciate it. I'll just like tweak some cams on the fly. It's all good. All Thanks right, for I'm joining so us. Thanks for joining. Sure, appreciate everyone. You. Have a great day. I'll talk to you <laughs> later. Bye-bye. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye-bye. All righty. Boop. That can go nope, away. Nope. And then okay. this is a pretty easy edit, at least. So. Spooky Discord every time. <laughs> Spooky <laughs> Discord. It gets me boring. There we go. I just had to change one camera. Other than that, we're fine. Boom. Easy. All right. Uh, so, again, we're back to the world of Immortal Combat. And we're uh, with uh, the Gatekeeper. And now you know what the initials meant. And uh, Rex. Oh, oh my Quick, God. Why can't I find the right tab? There we go. Jeez Louise. I have so many things open. The Gatekeeper. Uh, so, as you have, you, you sit there now. with the hand outstretched. Mm -hmm. It's still and, like a real fucking gnarly claw hand. Yeah, that's why it's like it's the the <laughs> instinct of scary. Oh it's wait, super terrifying. We're gonna say because he's a ghost and he can see into the ethereal plane, he can still oh see God. your hand, and see you're lucky. Because for a minute I was like, wait, no, he I can still see it. Um, he looks at the hand, and again, the thing it's warring with the whole. It's it's a scary looking hand, and you were creepy. Um. Yeah, I'm fucking terrifying looking up here. As Luxine <laughs> What are you doing? What is that? Uh, I'm trying, you know, helping you up. Come on, let's, you know, get out of here. Don't need to... I can never leave. I must protect I... my high score. High scores on everything. They're always gonna get beat in this new games. Well, I will be master of all the games. Clearly not. We beat you. So that's, you know, 
as you I'm you can out. see you are maybe starting to get somewhere and then as you say yeah. that well we beat you you see yeah. his eyes almost like light up in a reddish like familiar to you a look of rage and is, i I'm will get them back dude. and he's going to attack you with two um claw attacks I'm not, a, I'm not the talker. This was a mistake. <laughs> uh, one of them is a nine, but one of them is a uh, 21. Yeah, it hits. Uh, I rolled low. Like You take uh, eight points of necrotic damage. Oh, I don't resist that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, as is. these golden, or not golden, as these like spectral ghostly claws reach out, like the like claws sprout on his otherwise very human looking hand a moment ago and rake through your form. And they don't leave physical marks, but like a very intense chill goes through your body as he swipes and you take the damage. And next, it's Ember's turn. Hey. <laughs> So what 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 can I use DM inspiration for? It's a free re-roll basically. You can use it to re-roll okay. any roll and you have two of them. Okay. Just wanted to know. Alright, I'm going to attack the hockey puck that's next to me, you hockey puck. Okay. With uh my dagger. Um, I'm just wanting to... Oh, no, I only have one attack. Okay. It's a 14 plus 4. That 18 hits. to hit. That hits. Great. 1d4 plus 2. For a grand total of 4 damage! Okay. No! That's fucking massive. It is so <laughs> big. It uh, is so big. Anything else? Bonus actions? I'm holding on to my... I, I know I've got like four of them, but... I'm holding on to my bardic inspiration. It's the only ones... Oh. Because... Um, actually, hold on a sec. Because Kia is... Yeah. Gone. I'm going to remove two of the pucks for balancing purposes. Uh, so we're going to say... This one is gone. And we're gonna say this one's um, one play equals two pucks confirmed. This one's gone. Cool. So your that's your turn? That is my turn. Alright, uh Rex, we're back to you. Oh boy, this oh, is gonna be mistake. <clears throat> uh God, this motherfucker attacked me. Like, hey man, I didn't mean it like that, but if you need to be taught a lesson... <laughs> oh, this is not what I wanted to do. And I will swipe one claw. Alrighty. I don't want to do this. This feels awful. <laughs> this is not You're me. attacking a child. You're attacking a teenager. Koi yeah. hates kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Koi hates kids. Especially <laughs> fucking teenagers. <laughs> Fuck them. Teenagers? <laughs> Fuck them. Little bastards. Uh, I'm gonna let you walk that back and rephrase. No, I know what you mean. No, I know what you mean. Just attention to it. No, that's a 22. The that hits. I don't know. That's 10 points damage. Okay. What kind of damage? Uh, slashing. Magical or non-magical? I believe non-magical. So then it's okay. Got you. Let me just double check. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm magical. Cool. Because it's just like, I like, grew. It feels weird that's not magical, but sure. Anything sure. else on your turn? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I can attack again. <laughs> I get two with the claws. But again, I'm. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just you've like, already uh, committed to this, I guess. I mean, I, you, you're not. Well, you can walk it back at any time, but like. Yeah, like, <laughs> I hit once and I'm like. It really doesn't have to be this way, man. We don't have to do this. Like, come on, let's just get out of here. Uh, make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Because yeah, you did but... just attack him. 
No! He did stun it. In the face. Hey man, maybe we shouldn't fight. Ooh, disadvantage. Disadvantage, huh? So one was a nat 20. Oh. The other was a... The other was a 2. Oh, no. <laughs> a persuasion, you say? Yes. Oh, plus zero. 2. Very persuasive. Yeah. Um, I'm a big body boy. <laughs> so as you, as you say, we can end this. He goes, no. You're a bully just like the rest of them. I don't need any friends. Mood King Breach. Again, uh... <laughs> Anything else on your turn? Uh, yeah, fuck it. I will, uh... Dude. I'm just gonna leap the fuck out of here. And, uh, so I... <laughs> I get to use 10 foot of... <laughs> yeah, because the portal, the portal is still yeah. open from last time you were brought I... into this game. It's what this yellow, like, the box yeah. on the left side is. Yeah. It's a portal. So, I can use 10 feet of, uh... Actually, I don't know if it even uses 10 feet of movement. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, literally, like, I would just use my rabbit hop. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh no, oh yeah, no, it's bonus action. I do have a bonus action spare. I, I'll just use my rabbit hop, which lets me just jump ten feet as okay. long as I've got movement. Uh, it does not provoke any attacks opportunity. Okay. So I'm just gonna go like five, ten, and I'm just running out here. It's like, hey man, this doesn't have really doesn't have to be this way. We could. We can talk it out. Come out the portal. Let's do this. And I'm just going to run back through. <laughs> do you have enough movement to make it all the way to the portal? Oh, yeah. I can jump. Well, like, ten feet's five, two squares. And then you yeah, need five, five ten, 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 fifty. Five, yeah, you have ten, enough. Yeah, 15, yeah, yeah. You're 20, good. 25, 30, all right. Like... So you um, will reappear in the arcade. As we jump back. So much hopping around. Oof. Uh, is your token on this map, or did I? No. Yeah. I I well, I've there got, it is. There him. it is. Cool. I got him. Yep. Uh, when I come back in here in that last level, like, hey, he's having the teenager's having like a hissy fit because someone who's good at talking go talk to him because I feel like I made it worse, like <laughs> a lot worse. <laughs> oh man. But All he right. just seems kind of upset, and that'd be my turn. It's the basketball's turn. Um, uh, where the fuck did the basketball go? Don't know. Oh, I deleted the basketball instead of a puck. Hold on. I'll put it back in Basketball, here. puck, same thing. Guys. Uh, boop. Uh, put our basketball token back. Yep. Uh, it's gonna go for Shaggy. Bro! Raggy. Uh, Ooh, that's an 11 to hit. Misses. Alright. Back to slushies. So one slushy going for Rex, one slushy going for Shaggy. That's fucked. What the hell? So slushy for Rex. I'm rolling. All of a sudden, like ass. Uh, that's an 11 to hit for Rex. And then the slushy for Shaggy is 6, no, 15. Just hits. Just hits. Ooh. Uh, 15 points of cold damage. That's fucked up. And your oh. movement speed is reduced to half for your next turn. Dude, fuck. Uh, I would like mm -hmm. to use my reaction mm -hmm. to cast Absorb Elements. Ooh! Uh... Basically, because he, 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 he deals cold damage. Yes. Uh, it, what it does is it lessens the effect on me and it stores it for my next melee attack. That okay. I don't really do melee attacks, but... Lessening the effect uh, is do, still useful. <laughs> it does give me resistance to cold damage, so I'm going to take half of that. Okay, so 15, we'll say half to 7. We'll round down. Yeah, does that resistance stay? You have resistance to the triggering damage time, so cold, until the start of my next turn. Okay, cool. cool. Uh, next, it's the Hockey Pucks, which I are I could. both gonna no, go I for Ember now that Kia's gone. Um, uh, oops. One is a dirty 20, one is a 13 to hit. They both hit, and 12 AC, so... The 13 also hits? Yeah, I had 12 AC. Oh, okay. Um, the first one is eight points of bludgeoning damage. 
Okay. And the second one is 11. I am down. Yikes! I got that, you. That is by entire- that, that, there's your healer. Yeah. I got you. Uh, Shaggy, it's your turn. Um... And now you also see why people are running out of this place. Wait, how? What's five feet? Because these are big squares. One square, one big whole big square squares. is five feet. Even though your token moves around in it, one whole square is five feet. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna tank the possible attack opportunity here. I'm just gonna run. They don't have attack of opportunity, so you're fine. Two swords. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, I don't got you this round. But I got you next round. Smile. Yeah, you can get you can get there. Yeah. Uh. Fuck. Well, you still got action yeah. and a bonus. I do do that. Um. Fuck. I shall. That motherfucker still has my hunter's mark on him, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, fire one of the slushies. At the slushy with the hunter's mark, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my bonus action. To make it, the, you know, the, do the planar shit. Yeah. To give it, to make it force damage and deal an extra D8. Cool. Just, I can you just do that. That, once that blue hockey puck was the one that I hit with the, uh, what's what calls it? Yeah, the blue yeah. hockey puck is injured. I rolled him in that one, so it doesn't fucking oh, matter. Oh no! Piss and shit. Oh no, so, so you <sighs> have to, do you have a DM inspiration or no? No, I don't know Fuck if you no. did. No. You do have a, a wild magic surge. You can see if it makes a harmful effect on the enemy if you want it to trigger. Yo, I should use your wild magic surge with fucking kid. <laughs> uh, well, that's my turn. And then All right. Face, mighty face. Um, oh. it, it, Ember, make a death save for me. And you, you do have two points of DM inspiration. If you get a roll, you would like to re-roll. <laughs> that's a 12. All right, one that's success. Rex, it's your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna. Are these are these ten foot squares or five foot squares? Five foot squares, one whole square. Even though your token can move around oh, within it, that's just because they're small. Okay. A whole okay. square is five. I'm just gonna fucking go up to this. I assume this is the slushy that fucking hit me. Yeah. Fuck him. Being clawed. Uh, I should really know what plus is at this point. I've done a few attacks. Uh. So 17. Hits. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> dice through the dice on the floor. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's <laughs> anyway. uh, that is 12 points of damage because I have just remembered that this entire right. time I've not been adding my rage damage in. Oh, you genius. As you like knock that one to the ground, it hits the ground and stays down, does not reanimate one slushy down. Uh, And then I'll oh, five foot. Yep. Fucking use my second claw attack that I get. Uh, there's also another 17. Also hits. Uh, for... Uh, what the fuck is that? Uh, 11 points of damage. Okay. And that is my turn. Alright, it's the basketball's turn. What is it? It's movement. I believe it's 30. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, next is the slushy right in front of you. Nope. It has disadvantage, though, because its attack is a ranged attack, and you're right in front of it. Um, so that is a 13 to hit with disadvantage. Miss. Pardon? Miss. There we go. Uh, the air hockey pucks. Which will both attack Dutch. Uh, oh, wait, Dutch is back. Look at that. Just in time to get attacked. Let's hey, go. Dutch, you're back just in time for the hockey pucks to attack you. Uh, one, of the one of the slushies is down. Uh, Rex took out a slushie. My man. Um, one of them, uh, we have a 18 and a dirty 20. Yup, both of them. Dude, so like I'm in our old house still, and it's completely empty, right? Like everything is moved mm -hmm. out. It's kind of spooky, dude. It's a big ass yeah. empty house, nothing in it. All right, uh, you take ten points of bludgeoning damage. You like total? That's nice. Total. Like, okay, chilling. Yeah, you roll low for him. I, I can't help it. <laughs> Sucks to suck, loser. 
Uh, it's your turn um, now, Shaggy. Right. Yeah, uh, we established these guys don't have attack opportunity. They do not so have attack opportunity, no. Pass them. <laughs> I'm gonna use my last spell slot to pump a cure wounds into my fallen friend. Pump. Uh, for 10 hit points. Nice. So, you're back up. Um... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Duke is a resident ranger, so he might know the answer to this. <laughs> for Hunter's Mark. I can bonus action move Hunter's Mark for free, right? That doesn't... If the, if the target dies... It yeah, did. he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that doesn't count towards that you can only cast one spell a turn, right? Cause no, because like you're not casting, casting spell, it. The I'm spell's still up. Yeah. The target? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. Okay. I don't think I've ever done that. What I... would What would you like to Hunter's Mark? He tends uh... to hunt some of the big bad, don't you? And then he just dies around it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just Hunter's Mark, uh, the orange puck. Okay. Or I Hunter's Mark and attack. So I'm not casting any of those spells. Right. Um, action to heal my friend. Bonus action to move my Hunter's Mark. And then, and even though you told him to stay in the corner and hide, Doggo is now scared for owners. And there is also a zoom in ball, and he's a dog. Dog sees ball. Dog wants to chase ball. <laughs> dog is going to rush and try and do a chomp on the floating basketball. Dude, go on, Scoob. Get him. Let's go, Scoob. Oh, Scoob rolled so good. Let's go, Scoob. He did it. He go, he do big chomp. Uh, and he does uh six points of damage as he punctures the ball, and the basketball is trapped in his mouth for the time being. Oh shit, dude. Good boy, Scoob. Damn, also, man. When these. When the guys like see me attacking the the objects, am I just literally like staring at them and they just like get clawed? Oh, because we don't see your arms. arms. Yeah, you're just yeah. like mm, mm, no. like your shoulders are like moving, but there's no arms. It's like a weird this situation. <laughs> just shimmying at them, like yeah. No. Uh, Ember, your turn. Okay. Uh, is there any place I can get that would not harm? Uh. Uh. Shags or Scoobs yes. to do another Thunder Wave and get those two hockey pucks. Uh, yeah, you could go like kind of. We'll be yeah, forgiving yeah. like here at a steepish angle. Mm. We're gonna okay. skirt the shape a little bit. We'll say also, okay. um, or and I'll also allow Shaggy could use his reaction to get out of the way because he saw you cast this before. I already used my reaction. Oh, actually, I have my turn. So it's really yeah, so you you can like just dive a little bit out of the way so that you can be like here-ish. We're we're getting creative with geometry and positioning. A curve in my just D &D. second here. No. It is. Mind. I'm casting it at third level, but it's still a con save of 14. Okie dokie. And for the two hockey pucks? Yep. Uh, two hockey hucks? Okay, they're constitution. Hockey hook. Um, one is... Wait, how much was the save? 14. One of them is fails. One's eleven. One is fifteen. One just makes it, but one fails. All right. Which one failed? Um, we'll say the one that's hunter's marked because there's already extra magic working against it, and I'm just gonna say that makes it more erratic in its movement. Okay. Right, so I got three D eight wrong. Five. Seven. So one takes set that one that succeeds takes seven. The other one takes fourteen. Okay. Um, the one that this one down here, uh, as the thunder wave hits it, it falls to the floor, loses its aura, ceases to move. So one puck down, and the other one is now like flying really erratically, and like it looks like it's and, struggling to keep doing its job, but it's still there. And ten gets pushed ten feet away. Cool. Rex, your turn. Get him, dude. Oh, I'm fucking just gonna keep on attacking this slushy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that all is that. a natural 20. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, He's lying. What's the no. minimum, what's the minimum <laughs> damage you can do with a nat 20? So, so technically, because I've got the, uh, actually, I, I is it see. more than six? Uh, your yeah, minimum I roll damage. Six, so yes. Okay, so don't even bother rolling. Uh, okay. you you absolutely decimate this remaining slushy. Oh my god. 
Uh, cool. What's the fucking nearest thing to me? Uh, the hockey puck and the basketball are both equally far away because the hockey puck just got pushed. Five, They're ten. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The hockey puck is 30 feet away. If you go in a straight diagonal line all the way down to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not cringe. We're going to do the fucking diagonals cost a billion. No. Fuck that. Hell yeah. Well, Lame. then, fucking. Just gonna call this one then. Uh, that is a 22 tent. Absolutely hits. Mm. And don't even bother rolling again, because this puck has one hit point. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you see shimmy out of fucking thing. Just whack <laughs> it right like, out of the sky. Rah! Shimmy again. <laughs> just whack fucking, it uh, right out of the sky. The fucking, uh, Conor McGregor fucking. Yeah. <laughs> And then as you do that, we'll also say Scoob just continues to argh, and like bites down, uses those powerful Great Dane jaws and just deflates the basketball and all oh. you hear the air hiss out slowly. Oh. And at the moment, uh, we're now out of initiative because there are no more haunted objects oh. um, in your vicinity. Rabbit, but now there is more of that like shrieking and like moaning noise coming from the immortal combat machine. And it's like pulsating a little bit yeah, menacingly. Someone else should really talk to him, or maybe we should do it as a group together, because I Ooh. really did not make things good in there. Oh, did you punch the child, man? No. <laughs> I, I, I use... wasn't a punch. <laughs> I, I, do, I do cast cure wounds on myself and uh, okay. heal myself back to full. But also, I was a loser, and that didn't seem Pepper's right. Pepper's alive. Wrong. Why would you do that, man? That's fucked up, dude. It's only a kid. really pissing me off. What doesn't, man? You gotta get that looked at, dude. He was also really angry, and I sympathized, and he still attacked me, and I, it kind of fucked me off. So, right. so while while he, they're arguing, I pull out both of the plushies that I took, and I go to the machine and I touch it. All right, oh, you dude, are sucked inside. Gone, We're not gonna bother with the battle well, map for this yet, because uh, you know what it looks like. You've seen wow. it, but yeah, you see him in the middle. But this time, rather than a tantrum, he's almost like that painting you saw in the Pepe's Manor. He's kind of like huddled in on himself and just like head in his hands and just like shaking his head, being like, "No, no, no, it won't be like last time. No." It's my arcane! And just kind of like talking to himself and seeming very dejected. So I just approached so I go, Hi! Huh! I mean, get out of my arcade! And tries another like scary shriek. And this time some of the the fear effect that was laced in it before seems to have gone. And you just hear a lot of um, insecurity uh, behind it. But I, I brought friends to come make friends. And I hold up the plushies. I don't have friends. Would you like to make a friend? Uh, roll a persuasion check. Or do bar things. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a natural 20 plus 8. Ooh. That bard um, is doing bard things. He... He reaches out slowly and takes one of the plushies and, like, holds it. Hold on. <laughs> just holds on to it protectively and goes, Moist, you're I name. walk closer and then just sit down. I don't sit in right, like, directly in front of him, a good distance away, mm -hmm. just to give him his face and sit down. And I just have my own plush and I just sit there. And... My name's That's Amber. Kinda like, while they're having this conversation can i just like instruct scoob to kind of like play the role of emotional support dog and like kind of just like yeah lay down he'll come over and lay and... down next to him and he'll very carefully go to give some pats and then when he sees a dog's not gonna bite him give some scritches scoob be loving that shit hi ember i'm the gatekeeper that is an awesome name i know that's what I, I told have, the others. I have three first names, and I don't know which one I like more. I think Ember's a pretty name. Thank you. Do you like video games? Video games are awesome. Did you know the mummy one that they invited me to go and do a gig over there? That's cool. Great. I used to yeah. have all the high scores in here. 
and he looks like he's starting to maybe get heated again and start to get angry looking at you but then um scoob puts his head out on his lap and so he like pets the dog again and it's like temporarily keeping the rage at bay but then some people took my high scores that's not fun i never get high scores i never used to and that's why they said i sucked i wasn't a real gamer because i couldn't get a high score uh, high scores aren't everything. Were you having fun? I used to. Eh, don't listen to them about the high scores. They're nothing. I that's why I tried to be the first to get a high score on the new game. But then, then what then, happened? Then then there was an earthquake. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. The new game fell. And as he says that, you see his head start to change shape and look like what it would look like if part of his head was caved in and died from oh, crush shit. wounds. Fuck. That's never good. <clears throat> I'm sorry that happened. Well, you're the only one. Well, I'm pretty sorry too, man. You look pretty, you sound pretty cool. It's a shame that happened to you. Dude. You think I'm cool? Oh. Hell yeah, man. You're like a ghost. You can animate all these things and shit. And, and you, you weren't here to see it, man. So Those I'm only cool summon... because I'm dead? No, no, I'm just saying, man. Uh, cool comes in many forms, dude. Like, between you and me, I think just... The coolest thing you can be is just, just be a little dude that does things they enjoy and not care about what people think, man. Because people are, people suck, man. It's always judging people, and that's only because they feel them, they feel miserable themselves, dude. The only reason people told you you sucked because they, they sucked and they just wanted to take it out on you, man. But they didn't suck. They won. They won every time. Yeah, but they may not have sucked at video games, man. But they sucked at other things in life, like being cool. Pfft, losers. How do you know that? You didn't meet them. Well, they clearly left an impact on you, man. And judging by the way you feel so, like, sad about it and stuff, man, it sounds to me that those people kind of sucked, dude. They really sucked. Exactly, they were man. jerks sound like it dude but um jerks aren't hey. fun no. but what do I, I you know what do i do if i i don't know what i don't know what i like if i'm not a gamer you are I don't a gamer know what to do yeah man you may not have the high score you know what i suck at a gaming i have Air the high hockey. score but i had to cheat and he looks very ashamed of himself as he says that and he looks down. like the Konami code or something, man? Well, I found the code to those right, pillars right. and I scratched it into the side of the machine so I wouldn't forget. But you can make it's the you cheating, can make the man. fighter guy like way easier. Oh really, man? Shit. Well, the thing is, man, that doesn't make you a cheater. That just means you used that big brain of yours and did something smart, man. That's not cheating. Maybe we can play <laughs> a game sometime. Hells yeah, man. Um, the only thing is, I'd totally be down for that. The thing is, man, like this arcade, you've been stuck here for a while, haven't you? It's been a while. And... I don't know. I don't really. It's hard to tell time when I'm going in and out of the well, machines. If 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 our information is right, man, you've been here for a year, dude. That's like super long, man. It's like twelve months. It's like yeah, a whole like... school year, and including all the all the holidays and breaks and stuff, man. That's a long time, right? So what I'm thinking, man, like, aren't you bored of being here, man? I guess. Like, wouldn't you want to? leave i don't know um have any 
any any you know relatives that you miss or something, man? That like maybe I don't know. You would you know passed away a long time ago, and you want to re reunite with man, like a grandma or something? I I maybe I didn't. I don't know how to go. Well, I have a theory, man. That game that fell on top of you, man. Did they remove it out of the arcade? Is it behind that locked door? It's gone. They sold it. Did they? Hmm. Has anyone found you, man? Like your, you know, your body, man? Like, does your family know? Oh, everybody knows. Yeah. They still talk about yeah. it. It's part of what made me so angry. So they still made fun of me. Ha ha, kids stupid enough to have a machine fall on them. Oh, what a doofus. It wasn't your fault. I mean... You were... That, the thing fell. It's not you. Dude, your family could totally sue this place, man. I don't know what that means. It means that... Basically, because something horrible happened to you, your mom or whatever could, like, totally blame them for it and get it so much money. Dude. Maybe. I mean... Oops, I'm dropping dice. I mean, they... They... Obviously, they took my body and everything and all my stuff out of there. The only thing, really... There were some... They, there were some cards I was playing with before it happened, but all the rest of my stuff's gone. Were they just like normal playing cards, man? Because I think yeah. we've seen those. Yeah, I was waiting for my go... turn on the machine, because there was a kid in front of me, so I was just playing some solitaire. Want me to go grab those cards for you, man? Maybe you can finish your game, dude. Or maybe we could, I don't know, man, play a card game that all of us can play together or something, man. Sure. Yeah, I'll go grab him real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna quickly just like hop out through the portal. And I'm assuming he's talking about the playing cards yeah. on the table, right? Yeah. You see, like, Rex and... is there, just kind of like <laughs> waiting out. So, like, how's it going? I didn't want to go in. I didn't want to upset him. It's kind of right. It's kind of sad, man. He got like crushed by an arcade machine during an earthquake or something, man. It's kind of fucked up, man. Yeah, it sounds pretty fucked. Um, should I come in and just not say anything so it's cool, or should I wait out here still? I think, I think it might be better if you stay here, man. Because yeah, you're like, he I does, was he, you know, but... I mean, um, I don't look as horrible as I did, but, like, it's still Yeah, hey, Maybe you bad. could come in. Wait, hold on. Let me... And I'll go grab the cards, and I'll shuffle them, put them in, and, and I'll... I'll ask. I'll be right back, man, and I'll hop into okay. the thing, and I'll put the playing cards down. Hey, man, so you know that bunny guy... He's mean. He's like the other kids. Yeah, well, he's really sorry, man. And he and, took uh, the high score on Pepe's man. He did take the high score, but to be fair, man, you did just admit to, like, cheating, man. I didn't cheat in that one. Oh, my bad. Oh, the jumping game? That's why I don't have a high score. Oh, dude, I sucked at that one, man. Did you? Really? Did you yeah, he fell. You did? I fell down, man. Yeah. I got reset all the way to the beginning, man. It was okay. embarrassing, dude. It was still fun, though. I feel a little better. Game. You brought the cards? There you go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that bunny guy, like, he's really sorry, and he would like to apologize to you, man. So, like, he doesn't look, look, he doesn't look as scary anymore as he did before, man. He's calmed down a bit. It's just, he gets really angry, kind of like you. Gets really angry sometimes, and he can't really control himself, you know, man? And... He doesn't really under fully I guess realize he can come in here. what he's doing when he's that angry. Don't worry, if he starts causing trouble, I'll kick his butt. Good. She totally will, man. She's a badass. And I'll, like, hop out of the machine again. And I'll... So, Rex, dude, you can come in, man, but you have to promise me two things, bro. Yeah. No, don't go change into a scary-looking monster bunny, all right, don't man? Don't really plan to. And two, could you, like, apologize to the kid, man, for being a mean to him, dude? Yeah, I do feel kind of bad about it. it was <laughs> three, I'll only kick up. your butt if you get angry. Because oh. Amber will beat your ass, she said, if you 
kick okay, off in the I don't end. think she could, but okay. But let's just let's just not even address that, man. I and won't. just you go in and you say sorry to the kid and we'll be alright, man. Sounds good. And I'll I'll enter in the portal and okay. sort of really like sheepishly go up to get like looking like way cuter than he did when he was <laughs> a fucking rage little, monster. Little <laughs> boy, like real cute. Too. <laughs> and I'm just like Except for the like, dagger teeth. Uh, yeah, he yeah. still has the fucking fangs, true. I guess, from the wild magic, true. <laughs> yeah, but not just like a cartoon bunny moment. Well, they'll say that they wear off, and about now also, your that and your arms also reappear, oh, so all of a sudden I you guys can I... see Rex's oh, arms yeah. again. I'm like, my arms! <laughs> Dude, he's still, he's, his arms are back, man, look at that. Hey, I'll do like a little like, hey, sorry about earlier, I just get so frustrated at games sometimes that, you know... They, I forget what I'm doing. They do make me really angry sometimes. Yeah. And you know, the way I dealt with it wasn't correct, so I apologize. I didn't mean it, but it looks like you're going to play another fun game here. We're going to play a card game because I think video games make me too upset. Hey, it's just about knowing when to stop when the fun stops. Yeah, they haven't really been fun for a while. <laughs> Let's play yeah, some let's cards. Play. play some cards, man, and then yeah. maybe, you know, maybe just knowing that we're your friends, man, might be able, you know, that might be enough for you to kind of, I don't know, man, like, so go you, somewhere else. You sit dude. down in a little circle, and Scoob's still staying with him, and then just, like, head firmly on the kid's lap. And as you play cards, and you start to chat a little more, and you laugh, and you see him... He is warming up to you, and quite literally, before he emanated that chilling, necrotic, ghostly energy. But um, mm -hmm. his form is getting um, like warmer in color. He's emitting a heat the longer you play. Uh, by the end, he starts to crack a little bit of a smile. Um, but then his form's also getting more and more faded and translucent as you play. And by the end of your card game, you can go... That was fun. We should do that again sometime. But he's he's fading away as he's saying that, and his form dissipates. Uh, oh, and man. it seems like finally Whoa. getting to experience uh, some pe people showing him kindness and a healthier way to enjoy gaming and gaming with real friends and not people who say they're your friends uh, was enough to to Boy, end yeah. the curse on his spirit. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> and he has been Are freed from his time game? trapped here. Also, the cards that had his blood on it that were physically binding him here have now been brought into this game world and don't exist in the Press Pause Arcade anymore. So, uh, you start, you see a familiar, um, portal appear and more pixelation on your skin. And this time you're drawn to the portal, you're, like, against your volition whether you want to stay in the game or not. And you're drawn back into the arcade. And there is a peaceful silence. No objects are flying at you. No more machines are emitting a magical aura or sparking with any dangerous electricity. And you feel confident that you have solved the mystery of who the gatekeeper was and the ghost haunting the Press Pause Arcade. Congratulations, oh, dude. I, I take that moment to run over to my phone, grab it, and go, <laughs> Guys, you will not believe all what just happened. <laughs> I just completely go into like an all outro. <laughs> an outro of filming the looking whole at, thing. Looking at like show you like I just really don't understand the streaming thing. <laughs> Me neither, man. But, I like, almost think it, died. Think about it like you know <laughs> many how, times. You know, people write like, journals and stuff, man. To kind of day by day let people you know let the journal know what you did and stuff. I think that's kind of the same thing, but instead of keeping it to themselves, they just want as many people as possible to know about it, man. Do I feel called out that. right now? <laughs> anyway, man. I could eat, man. We should get some pizza and then get paid, dude. I could go for pizza. So you guys leave, oh, and conveniently, because of course it goes very well with video games, there is a pizza parlor, like, in the same strip mall where this arcade is, what? and what? you feel satisfied what? with a job what? What? well done. What? Enjoy that pizza. pizza. I'm gonna go eat pizza I'm in real life table. now, so that's pretty funny. Yeah. But congratulations! I on whether or not that uh, Dream Mummy machine can be bought, and whether or not it still has a portal <laughs> so I can go and do my gig. Do your gig. You can do, you can do a fun. gig in Dream Mummy once. Oh, we're picking a card? Wait, do we need to pick a card first? Oh, it's tarot cards. 
as the King of Pentacles. Reverse. Inverted. Just funny when you get a person card for like what was that reading meant to King be? King of Pentacles. This, let, I want, I want my two. Uh, I want my two wild magics just to see what they would be. Just to see what your wild <laughs> magics would have been. Yeah, you all had wild yeah. magic surges. You never used. All right, your wild magic surges would have been. And chat. Uh, well, before we do our outro, thank you so much for hanging with us for this one shot, helping us raise money for charity. You still have a few more minutes if you'd like to help us raise, see if we can get any more past a hundred pounds raised for safe in our world while we do our outros, tell you where you can find us, um, and remind you a little bit about who we are and what we do as creators. So for the first one was 44, where if you spent a spell slot or the next time you do a spell, you would retain the spell slot and cast a spell for free. Ah, damn it. I could have used that. Uh, the mm -hmm. other one you get is an 81, oh, so which would have been your hands become encased in bricks of clay. So lots of hand-related shenanigans yeah, really. happening. Um, Dutch, is, Dutch would have got a 63. We'll say a mighty wind blasts forth from you. Everyone within must make a strength save or fall prone. Two. <laughs> we already want to see what the what uh, last one would be. Koiba's 51, uh, Koiba's would have been smoke fills a 10 foot radius around you, lasting for three rounds. And the last one for Erodi would have been 12, the lowest one of the day. Uh, where the caster next turn, instead of taking any action, you instead start vomiting money and you cough up a hundred silver pieces. Oh, oh fuck. A hundred <laughs> silver pieces did I really say? So yes, right. thank you so much, everyone. We have been uh, raising oh, money awesome, for though. Safe in Our fun, World. Uh, yeah, got, again, the one-shot was entirely exactly. written by, like, the charity hired someone to write and create this one-shot. And of course, they're a mental health That's charity, it. so the theme of, like, there was heavy emphasis on, like, they clearly wanted you to solve the final conflict with the gatekeeper, not yeah. via combat, but by empathy and just giving him someone to oh, talk yeah. to, someone to listen. <laughs> I started oh, with that, but you didn't know mother I fucked it. Mother you fucked it, attacking. that's your fault. And, and I yeah, I just thoroughly enjoyed the three different the games. We got a platformer, we got a fighter, and we got a dating sim. And I'm like, I was reading it like, this is so cute. This is so funny. I love it. Yeah, no arcade shooter? What the fuck? No sh no arcade shooter. No, that's no, too no much. No, maybe. Too you know, I was about, <laughs> I was about, I was about to tell the kid about the internet and see if he would just, you know. <laughs> The yeah, you know, there's plenty of games online. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the Tiltify campaign for this um, open for like another 24 hours, maybe or so. So feel free to share the link to our Tiltify campaign on your socials. If you couldn't donate today, but you wish you could have, you can help us to spread the word. Even though the one shot ends, you can share the link to the Tiltify campaign. See if we maybe hit a little more. But thank you so much for helping us raise a hundred pounds. That is still a great number. Nothing to sneeze at, especially for a smaller channel like us. And we also, I didn't have much time to really advertise or promote this event. We just kind of threw it together. And before we leave, just if you had fun with us today, obviously uh, follow Dungeon Select, the channel right here. We play every Sunday. Myself, Dutch, and Koiba, and Duke, who is with Koiba in the background, uh, play here every Sunday. And we do a homebrew campaign, as well as other one-shots like this, for charity, not for charity. We do a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, I also mm -hmm. stream both D&D &D and video games on my personal channel, which is LauraK483. Uh, and then we'll let our creators here tell you where you can find them and what kind of stuff they do before we leave. Uh, Ecto, we'll start with you. I was going to say, if you want to start with me, because I'm about to start streaming here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll end. We'll end with you. Start. You start with yeah. you, and then you can just dip. Cams will be wonky for a little bit, and then we can. Yeah. Gee, I wonder. Yeah, we'll awesome. raid. Oh, I can't control that. <laughs> Dutch, are you cool with raiding into Ecto? No, nah, fuck him. <laughs> totally understandable. Nice. I get it. Dude, that got guy the Madonna is annoying. look happening in the background. No, no, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> That's a fucking nippy. <laughs> It's well, here, so never mind. Ecto doesn't have to tell you about uh, what they do, because we're going to go raid Ecto right after this, so you can yeah, see nice what the vibes are like over there. But Ecto does gaming stuff, you should ask ghosty Ecto stuff. About his, his thoughts, like his, the deepest level of thoughts about, you know, fucking Ghostbusters. I, I figured, I was waiting for Ecto to enjoy the back, Gatekeeper more... reference, and that is the canonical know, name did. of the ghost, like the Gatekeeper. Um, I, I was asking if anybody knew where a key, a key master was. So yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Dutch and Koiba, uh, they're they're a bit uh, sporadic with their streams right now, but they do they do things. The comeback online. is happening. I just fucking right move now. This week. I'm Fuck never me. gonna be consistent. Come, Let's be wrong. Comeback is what a year, baby. Trust. 
Trust the process. But in the meantime, uh, I'm here every Sunday. Yeah, every so Sunday here select. on Dungeon Select. <laughs> so check us out. Um, this this <laughs> one shot with Duchess permission, I'd love to post it to YouTube. It'll either go on the DS channel, like all our VODs. Maybe I might be like, can I put it on my channel, please? But I think, eh, we'll just leave it on Dungeon Select channel. It's I've, I'm behind on uploading and editing my own Nether Deep uh videos so yeah, i mean plus it's i don't know stream on the ds channel upload it to the youtube yeah. DS channel makes most sense right makes sense but, um, uh so yeah. yeah thank you so much everybody for being here hopefully we'll Dante, see y'all at another dungeon select or at one of our own personal streams Hell yeah. and please help keep session sharing that totify campaign for the next day or two week? yeah it's session Thursday, 100 of our session 100 for campaign two. and i hope you guys had fun Eventually, I will be there for session two. Yeah, you'll be. Yeah, Ecto's gonna be on Dungeon Select again mm -hmm. very soon. Um, the full, oh, like, as soon it. as the gamers decide, we're going. What they want to do is, is is basically like once they decide to leave and go on their next leg of this journey is basically when we'll be. In oh, final fun fact before yeah. we end, just Never. because I can and it's fun. So I also changed. And then I was like, oh, maybe I regret it when they started uh, nearly TPKing at one point. But I changed the stat block of the gatekeeper. They, he comes with a, a stat block in the campaign, but I thought this still fit and made him, if they did go into combat, a little more menacing. I made him, ignore the picture because he's still a little kid. I made him a tulpa, which is from this creature codex. But a tulpa is a real monster, also Ooh. exists in mythology and lore from Supernatural. Because yeah, a tulpa yeah. is a ghost that's brought into being just through people, like, believing in it, kind of. So all the people talking about this kid's spirit haunting the arcade, like, he mm. didn't actually start haunting the arcade. But then he was brought into this form from the sheer force of, like, rumor and belief and was stuck here. Also, the tulpa is a bit more badass to fight compared to the stat block they gave the gatekeeper. That's everything. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.